Hello. Um, it's Thursday evening, fr February the first, actually, first of February today. And um, yeah. and it's me, Maya. Hello, everybody. This is Trans Bricks. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Um, I'm here to make it even better because we're going to have some fun. And <laughs> well, yeah, but you know, I can't solder and look bad. I gotta. This is my soldering outfit. This is like, this was rec I've watched a YouTube video and it says the first thing you do when you're going to do any soldering is you need to look fabulous. This is, you know, and I'm like, I, c I can do that. This is, I'm pretty sure I can do this. My, my wire's got a bit weird. Hold on, my wire's gone really weird. I'm just, and it's gone like all tingly tangly. There you go, that's better. So I hope everyone's doing really well today. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to do my soldering. Maybe I'll pull my sleeve. They don't really pull up, so that's bad. I'll have to just take the top off and do it in my bra. I think that's probably the best thing for everyone, right? That, you know, for safety. For the purposes of safety. Twitch, if you're wondering why I'm going in my bra, then it's for safety. I mean, you can't ban me for that. Jesus. Hello to Thousand Stars, how you doing? Um, Thousand, I keep calling you Alex Thousand because I know that your name is actually... I'm going to say it and it's probably wrong, so let me know if I'm going to say it wrong. And this is why I'm, this is why I've not been saying it, because I was like, I don't know how to say it. Ashlyn. Is it, is it Ashlyn? Is that, it's like a shh, you know, even though it doesn't look like a shh, it's a shh, it's a shh. Ashlyn. Let me know if it's wrong and I'll try and figure it out. Um... And then we got an Aurelia. Now to say her name. Aurelia Australia is in the chat. Diki Sloft is here. Hello. We got a John. John O'Neill. Hello. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you, Thousand. Thank you, Ashlyn. If that if that is indeed your name. Uh, it's close. I think as uh, Ashley Anne. Ashley Anne. Is it like Ashley Anne? Ashley Anne? Is it Ashley Anne? So the Ash is correct, yeah? The, the, the Ashleen. Ah, yeah, is it, it's Ashleen. Okay, there you go. What did I say? What did I say? Ashlyn, I said, oh yeah, I said Ashlyn. It's Ashleen. I gotcha, cool. So it's Ash and Lean. So, Aurelia says, and I gotta say, Maya, you've got that looking fabulous part nailed. <coughs> Nailed it in. I got it. Thank, thank you, Aurelia. That though, thank you also. My hair is being okay today. My hair. So I've literally just straightened it in the last um, half an hour. And as I was straightening, I realised I'd run out of. This is a really exciting story. You're gonna love this. Um, so it's very. It's got. It's got everything. This story. I I was straightening my hair. <laughs> oh god. And I realised that I've run out of um, uh, heat spray protection spray because you gotta spray your hair to protect it and I ran out so I didn't use it see I told you this it's like it's just got everything that's like drama excitement and you know whatever uh Edel's here Edel's here hello so an only fan soldering stream that would be new that would be new because I could do it, that would actually be fine to be naked. In fact, it'd probably be encouraged to be naked on OnlyFans streaming. But I don't want to accidentally like solder my boobs. That would be awful. Would, oh, that would, oh my God. Now I've said it. I wish I hadn't said it because that sounds horrible. Let me just grab my stuff. Hey, Sarah, how you doing? Um, you've got, oh wait, you've ordered, um, you've ordered a kingfish, yeah? Nice. That's really cool. Okay, so... Kingfish is a type of beer as well. Actually, so in England, when you go for a curry, you go to an Indian restaurant and they always have Kingfisher, which is a beer. So when people talk about the fit Kingfisher, I'm always like, yeah, I could have a King. I could have one of those right now. But that's not what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Oh, you're probably on adverts now. Good, damn it. Right, so check it. I got a multimeter. I don't know what it, I don't exactly know how to use it, but I got one. But I don't think I'm going to need it. 
because it's just a simple soldering job. I don't think I'm going to need the multimeter, to be honest with you. It's not circuitry. It's literally just a wire that's come unsoldered. I'll, I'll, I'll show you the stitch in a minute. I'm going to... I'm going to break down the sitch for you momentarily. But first we're just going to look at this hunk of beef. Which, uh, you know, I don't think we have loads of him enough, honestly. Hello to Bricklets, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. It's exciting, this stream is soldering. It's where I set fire to my top. Shit, it's not going to actually... It's not going to though, is it? I'm not actually going to set fire to my top, am I? Oh good, I've got an owner's manual on the uh, multimeter maybe. Or is it for the whole thing? Looks like it's just the multimeter. The meter is a pocket digital multimeter. Mm hmm. So that's, that's actually kind of important. I'm going to keep that for future reference. Um, I'm going to put this away in here so it doesn't fall out. Hey, I'll sort the build cam out as well because uh, that's going to be good for you to see, right? You're going to, otherwise, you're not going to know what the hell's going on. Um, and also, I just want to say, you can help me, okay? Like, there's no, you know, it, I I recommend and encourage you to all help me. If I'm doing it wrong, like I'm holding the solder the wrong way around or something, just to shout out in chat and let me know, and I will um, turn you know, turn it around then. Because if you don't tell me, I won't know. Now I know that I know that I actually look incredibly smart, but it's a, it's all a it's a it's a, it's just a facade. It's just, it's a con. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Right here is um here's a thing. I think it's like for mic. Hello, it's a microphone stand. It's cool. I don't know if you get a microphone stand in this as well. Um, let's just sort out the um the camera, the little camera. Epoch cam. I think that's now should be connected. Yeah, that's cool. It worked. It just it just worked. That's awesome. So I put that down. And then um well this probably won't work. No. So now I just need to go to my thingy jonga donga. Just switch it away, switch it back again. Let's get that in it. Just go switch it away and switch it back again. Works again. And that's my that's my kit. That's my little kit. It's a nice it's a nice little carry bag. Hmm. Studio Settle says I do not recommend soldering naked. Been there, done that. Oh, do not recommend. What happened, Errol? Did you solder your balls? What happened? <laughs> Did you drip molten lead onto your cock? Oh my god. That's gonna sting. Uh, Bricklet says, who could afford your boobs? Are you, is that, um, is that, do you want a price list? I can, I can give you a price list if you, if this is what you're asking, but maybe not, and I'll do it off later. Uh, Aurelia says, I go for my Kingfisher and her Magic Castle kits. You do. We'll be polling which of the two I should build in a bit. So Aurelia's going to be building some Lego along with us. Well, I sold her, I guess. I do plan to build some Lego too. As a special treat for you all. I know I spoil you, don't I? Um, mm. Right, here is the... Oh, shit. Here is the soldering iron. Oh, my God. I'm just getting tangled up with my headphones. That's actually quite stupid. All right, I'll put that here because clearly that's for that. See? Except, you know what I need to do? I need to plug it in as well. So, cause it's, it's actually not self-powered. So I need to plug this into my pattern, into my power sockets. Which are under my desk, so I'll need to do some fiddling about. Ah, yeah, that's not long enough. <laughs> that's not long enough. Ooh, that's not very long at all. That's actually a really, really short cable really short like ridiculously short so i'm gonna need to do some stuff here to get so i can actually have a power cable that works okay good 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 should have checked that shouldn't i 
5,000. Between us and chat will soon be my official name, just waiting for paperwork. Come and I'll be Ashleen Selena. Very nice, very, very nice indeed, Ashleen Selena. It's nice when you get your official paperwork and it's all done. So is that is that a GRC then that you're getting, a GRC? Because I know that there's various things you can do in the UK to change your paperwork. There's, you know, it's your passport, driving license you can just then you can change all your bank details and stuff like that by doing like a deed poll or whatever which is what you need to do any problem but then but then the final the final thing is the GRC isn't it so quite a long-winded and complicated and all very separate process which is not joined up at all and you know it's quite sort of conflicting in many ways and also the UK government doesn't have any plans currently to make it any easier for anyone does it do they because the thing is, if they did make it easier, then the world would literally end. Cats would be marrying dogs. Um, people would be running through the streets naked. Um, you know, popular children's authors would explode uh, in, and, and, and bats would come out. You know, if they, if, if they actually did make it slightly easier for trans people in the UK, then that would be awful. So, so let's hope that they don't do that, eh? Thousand Ashley Ashleen says they have a new McLaren Etten Senna Icons Lego kit coming out first of March. Oh, really? Uh, I'll be getting that. Put a pick in Discord. Ooh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. If anyone can drop a link to that pick in the Discord so we can share with the chat, that would be fantastic. Mmm, and that is and that is awesome. Congratulations, Bricklets agrees. It's really cool. It's 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 a good milestone, honestly. It's really it's a really good thing to do. It's a classic design, Slofty says, but I find it funny that Lego is basically going to release something that looks like a cigarette box. The car. The car looks like a cigarette box? That's weird. I wouldn't expect that to be very aerodynamic, honestly. By the way, thanks for the raid last night, says Ashlyn, and uh, because of the raid I learned how to use my shout-out app. Awesome, you've got a whole app for shout-outs. I don't know how to do shout-outs, I just let my mods do it for me. Um, so that's um because so, it's useful they use they are quite useful sometimes sometimes i did not solder anything that painful no but solder blobs on thighs are not really all that good either that still sounds really horrible ouch bricklets didn't know you were talking about selling them selling my boobs was i what did i i must have my tongue must have slipped i don't understand what i am um, what I said or what you heard, but I'm pretty sure that I, I have no intention currently of selling my boobs, in case anyone's wondering. But, but if you want to make me an offer, you know, then I'll consider it. It's like a reasonable, all reasonable offers considered. Let's get some more now. I'll probably delay the vote till you're building to me. Okay, cool already. Uh, Ashley says molten lead on private parts equals T1000 version 0 0.1 beta. <laughs> Yeah, because your whole face would kind of go whoop, 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 as, it, as it happened. It wouldn't be a fun time. Unless you're into that. I mean, you know, the thing is, some people actually might be into that. You know, it's like a step up from hot wax. Uh, people like dripping hot wax on the on, on various parts. And um, so maybe like molten metal, molten lead is actually just, you know, the next step after that. I don't know. I'm not really... Um, I'm not really as world wise as, as, as maybe you think I might be, so I don't know about this. I'm just speculating currently. Are you aiming to do a replay of the stupid stock image of the girl soldering mayor? Mm, I don't know what that is. What is that? What's the stupid stock image? Because yeah, if you got a link, I'll I'll do a replay. Yep, 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 yep. I don't know what you, I don't know which one you mean though. I I want to know. I wanna know. I want to know what you're talking about. That's not long enough, said she. <laughs> that was, it's a deed poll and then GRC as well, but won't. But uh, can't wait until hormones. Uh, wait, hold on. What, there's something about waiting until hormones for a GRC. I think you've got to be one year on hormones, have you? At least, or maybe more. I don't know. It's probably more actually thinking about it. You certainly have to be, you certainly have to be out. And so, like socially, one hundred percent female, in order to um, get some of these things, don't you? And again, I think it's like it's at least 
like two years or something, which isn't that long, I guess. But just getting an ID with my name on it will mean so much right now. Cool. Okay, here we go. This is the Lego cigarette packet. Oh no, I yen with that. Actually, that is quite good, actually, isn't it? Ooh. So, the first checking out Lego. Now we're going to check out some Lego. I'm very impressed with this Lego. You can go. Um, goodbye, Henry. Here is the Lego. And it's a good one. Sorry about the brightness. I don't know why it does that. But that's um, that's looking special, actually. That is looking super deep special. Are those tyres new? I don't remember seeing those tyres before. They're, they're really nice, actually. Actually, those tyres are brilliant. I really like those tyres. Wow. Um, but the whole thing is brilliant, actually. Wow! Oh God! Yeah, there's. Ooh! So the nose, the nose piece is new. That's new, isn't it? I've not seen that before. That wedge. That's lovely. Now what's going on here? I can see. Yeah, there's nothing new about the windscreen. Um, the tires do look new. I don't know about these bits here. The actual, is like the the wheel, the wheel connections. Like, um, I don't know if that's new, but I don't recognize it, that's for sure. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's let's move, let's go. Ah, uh, here we go. Pinching it. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, as as with so many things, this LEGO, this LEGO website has not been designed with an iPad in mind. Uh, spoiler looks fantastic. Rear end looks great. Like the use of the um, half. It's not half done, but it's like a curved. It's like a curved. Um, it's like a s s sphere cap almost, and it's been put on its side there, just behind the drivers on each side. It's really nice. It's, it's all real nice actually. Um, that's fantastic, and I very much like it. I'd like to get that. It's no. Yeah, there's no. There's obviously no tobacco sponsors on it because Lego wouldn't do that. But Lego are perfectly happy to advertise Shell because Lego kind of sort of are made of shells. <laughs> Lego's made of seashells. Did you know that? It's true, sort of. But the car is, it's in marble colours, that's for sure. Yeah, it really is. No actual logos, obviously, but the red and white colour scheme was very distinct back in the day. It was only one as I recognise it. Uh, MP4 by 4 is the car that won 15 or 16 races in 1988. Only race it lost was Monza and Ger Gerhard Ber Gerhard Berger. Gerhard. Uh, one in the Ferrari Lewis Hamilton's 2025 home. Um, and I'm not sure what so much that meant, but that sounds very good. Uh, you know, Ash Ashlyn knows quite a lot about motor racing. Hot wax, ooh, and other things. Hot wax on the back and the butt is incredible. I've never, I've never, you know what, I've never done that. I've never had it. And, you know, maybe it is. I have no strong desire to try it. But if a guy really wants to do it, then probably they'll do it. And I'll be like, oh, wow, that's really good, you know. Probably that's that's often what happens. Yeah, cool. That's going to be me, except she's got a more practical top on. Honestly, this is me, except less. You know, she's more. She's more practical, and she's got goggles as well. I don't have goggles. Am I supposed to have goggles? Um. And also, what if what is she doing actually? Yeah, doesn't look like there's any solder on that soldering wire, but on that soldering. But you know that's what they do. They don't actually do it for real. They just say, "Hey, just hold this, um, and look like you're doing something." That's standard practice. And also, she's quite she's she's holding it pretty close to the end. I don't know if that's safe. Like I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't I wouldn't like I wouldn't hold it like that. I I kind of just it's like it's not a pen. You know you're not you're not drawing with it, right? I wouldn't do that. I think probably. The, the rubber area is probably a safer bet, yeah. So, I think that's what I'm getting from the chat as well. I think I, th I think that's a big, that's a big no-no. I didn't I didn't catch that straight away, but it is sort of. 
Well, I did question it because it's all metal there, isn't it? And I'm like, at what point does it stop being hot? So I won't do that, hopefully. Thank you for the top tip, Errol. Thank you very much for the top tip. Do not plug it in if you are doing a replay. Hmm? I don't even do soldering and I know you're definitely not supposed to do that. <laughs> no, no, it's wrong, isn't it? It's all wrong. Yeah, they, they used normal tires on the Ferrari F1. I have, uh, I have, so a full slick is new. It's, it looks really good, those tires. Those Lego tires, fantastic. I want, I want that car just for the tires, honestly, but I want it for the whole car. And I want, I want two of them so I can make some more cars. I want to make some more Formula One cars, actually. Just looking at that, and I'm like, yeah, I could make some more, couldn't I? That would be really good, actually. At that scale, like, um, I'm a little bit excited to do that, actually, thinking about it. There's the box, the box art. That does look nice as well. The, bo the box art looks really nice. Sometimes the box art isn't that good, but this is a good one. This is good. Yeah, well done. Box art. And then what's this? It's a little video. So it's, it's just a rotation, isn't it? It just rotates around. And, um, mm, that's awesome. That's really super cool. I can't wait. There's some good Lego coming out, isn't there? There is some really good Lego coming out soon. Well, as always, like every year. Also, when they show this car off for displays, they have removed the tobacco sponsorship, which annoys me on a historical level. It's, uh, historical revisionism isn't it that it's like this is actually no they did have cigarettes in those days um i don't think people are going to see the car in a historical context you know and then think "Ooh, I'm, i think i might take up smoking like that's probably not gonna happen but you know and if that's the case they need to send some madmen you know it's like uh, oh my god we can't we can't have we can't have madmen available for people to watch because in that they're just constantly smoking and drinking and and having sex and all, all the things that you're not supposed to do basically so um you know they'll need to sort that out there's a lot of censoring to do there now all the kids will run out and buy oil and hondas instead of cigarettes <laughs> Whole wax is one of those things that look like it could maybe be fun, says earlier. Mm -hmm. But I think you do need someone else to do it. I think that's one. Of, it's like trying to tickle yourself, you know? It doesn't work, does it? It doesn't work. Yep, look at her hand. I did eventually look at her hand and it's it's wrong. She's, she's obviously using it in the wrong hand. Goggles ain't going to be saving those hands. <laughs> So it's a slightly weird I mean, it's it's weird because it's so very very wrong but it's it's kind of funny like where is she anyway i guess she's in she should know you think she'd know better but never mind who knows but oh you know maybe maybe the photographer said it looks a lot better if you just hold it at the end can you hold it at the end and she's like Are you sure like, yeah yeah no it's gonna look a lot better you, it might not be her fault honestly you just gotta do what the photographer says sometimes can you stretch it even further? No, wider, even wider, please. And then, and then you can just go do it. It's like I'm not sure I actually go that way, but okay. Uh, hip, um, theoretically, this is a, this is an this is a this is a make make believe scenario that I just made up. Hypothetically, do not touch the metal. I will not touch the metal. That thing is going to be near the, nearly 200 degrees C. C hot. Yeah, that's bad. Where's the where's it gone? There's no um yeah, there's no temperature setting, I don't think. And hold on, there is. Holy fuck, that's the smallest thing I've ever seen. So there's a dial which has got a temperature setting. And can you see the actual I actually can see them now, but I couldn't see them with my eyes. So you can see the temperature setting. Interesting, eh? So it should be... Ah, oh, fuck that. Is it that? Yeah, it's that, isn't it? And then you turn it. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to go for 200, which is actually the lowest. Hey, thank you for the follow, Mr. Goon. We're going to do some soldering. I haven't done some... So I haven't done any soldering since high school, which obviously wasn't that long ago. 
Um, but uh, hopefully I remember how to do it. Apparently you're supposed to hold it right at the end, like this. Hold on. I got an image showing me how you're supposed to do it. There you go. So I'm supposed to hold it at the end like that. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> it's an instant trip to the ER. That's Doc Imitty's kind of meme of everything wrong. Of everything that's wrong with the world, with the whole world. This in, in one image, incredible. Uh, greatest fox, ouch no. Also, I can tell by experience that you shouldn't touch the tip to see if it's still hot. So is it still hot? <laughs> no, shouldn't do that. It's just, but you know what these are? These all these things that you're saying, isn't this all just common sense? Maybe not. And also, what the hell's common sense anyway? If only common sense, it's not all that common, is it? Which watch me set fire to my entire self. <laughs> No, that's what the soldering station is for. The soldering station. Uh, which tells you the temperature. This does, this tells me shit. <laughs> uh, green and red, really? 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 I don't know. What? Uh, hey, Sicky C is here. Hello, Sicky C. Heart, heart to you as well. Hold on. Bing. You could do Prost and Senna for sure, then recreate Suzuki 89. I could do all sorts of things, can I? With my Lego skills. With my Lego skills, I could do all sorts of things. Possibilities are endless. I'd quite like to do a bit some more modern cars, but then I'd also quite like to do some more less modern cars, like more his more historical ones, you know? But, I mean, the 70, it's a 70 bucks car is a good Lego item. This is, um, is this 70 bucks? Bucks. Here's a, oh wow, look at this. This is a 40 second video of racing cars. Let's watch it. It's a 40 second video of racing cars. Is this a, is this a clip of this car? Is this this car? a little bit of a bump. I don't really watch Formula One, so I don't know anything about it. But I do like driving. I do like driving cars so really, 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 really fast on tracks. Suzuki 89. Uh, the colors of the car do more than the word Marlboro. I think they do more than the word. They do. Bricklets is lighting the other one. <laughs> yeah, see, Ferraris have liminal hints. Do it in the last ten years because Marlboro still pumped millions into the team. So it's literally just the colors, huh? That's cheeky. I didn't know that. And neither did Bricklets. Yeah, that thing is never going to reach 450. It'll just start sparking and steaming and smoking and explode. I don't know. 300 to 350 max. So I'm just going to say as well that this is a Chinese special. This is a Chinese special. It's not a It's not a good brand. So I am. I, um, but it's, it's like it, it shouldn't. I may need to solder my soldering iron at some point. I wonder if I can self-solder it. I'll need to buy another soldering iron to solder the soldering iron that I originally bought. Exactly, it was only about 10 years ago. I think, I think it was about 10. I can't really remember. Thousand says, yeah, they changed the actual logo around 2018 to look lo more like Marlboro. And there was a the barcode design, but both got jumped on by the EU. Good, good, the EU. Good, good, because they, you know, they should get jumped on for that. It's uh, outrageous. Common what? I don't know. Common sense? I haven't seen a brown F1 car yet with, <laughs> with a huge warning and a picture of a sick person on it. <laughs> What's that selling? Is that selling, um, what is it? You know, because you've got to be selling something, right? Otherwise, what's even the point of having a race? CQ says, your stream is like a Zen garden. It's super chill. You know what? It is a bit chill. Sometimes it gets also a bit manic and silly, but um, 
and sometimes I can't stop laughing. And I don't know if that's very zen, but it's um, it's generally fairly chill. Like there's other streams out there which is just crazy, it's just completely, you know, cray cray, and you don't know what the hell's happening, and it's all just going off all the time. Um, we like to keep things a little more chill. Yeah. I should be like a, on the. I should be on the. I've got. I've got a face for radio, over now. I? I should be on the radio. Bricklets doesn't follow F1 either. I don't really follow it. I kind of like watching fast cars go fast and stuff, but I, but I, but I, but I don't. I'm not really into. It. Jacket, not. visa, dress. We got to redeem of the fit. Belt. Finally, because it's a good fit today. I'm happy with the fit. One percent cash back. Show you my fit. Bag. Gucci. And then we'll get soldering. And worth every penny. I think. And I'm, I'm just gonna go straight underneath the table. It's just, it's just jeans. It's just jeans. Oh yeah, now I was gonna go under the table, wasn't I? So let me just go under the table. So I need to do a little bit of a rearrangement of my electronics. Electricals even. Hold on. I've got an extension here, but what I'm going to need to do is actually pull it out. Shit, I hope I don't lose the Mac. So the Mac's going to go to battery, hopefully. Fingers crossed. The Mac, the Mac absolutely should go to battery right now. Are you ready? If I go, then that's what's happening. Are you still there? Am I still there? Is everyone still here? I think everyone's still here. I unplug the mic and put it back in. That's the, that's the great thing about having a laptop rather than a desktop. Now, giddy. So, oh shit, as soon as I plug this in, it's gonna start heating up, isn't it? So I need to be a little bit careful now. And this is and this is already off to a terrible start because my headphones are wrapped around the other cable. Here we go. This is it. That's not even fucking straight. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's in. I hope. Um, how do I know if it's hot? That's a that's a question. I'll just I'll just. I just touched my tongue to it, yeah? I'll just, I'll just touch my tongue. And if it starts to steam, then it's hot. I should be able to feel it, I don't know. This is exciting. <laughs> okay, um, what am I solving? Here we go. So this is the broken thing. This is my ring light. It's gonna move my mic out a little bit. Um, and the, oh, the mirrors come off. That's fine. I don't need that bit. Oh, yeah, that was really silly. Hold on. I'm just gonna fix my lights. There we go. I need to like saw those out. Really, really done. Um, let's move my. Let's go back to the um, building scene. That just started to slide across the table, and I don't think that's right. That shouldn't happen. This is this isn't very good. So I'm gonna move this up as well. And I'm gonna move some Lego out of the way. It's a bit of a mess. I should have done this before plugging it in. I I realise this, of course. Oh, no. I go down. Gosh, that's not very strong. Okay, I see. Yeah, this is a real pain in the ass, actually. There we go. I'm a bit worried that's just going to slide off the table at any point. 
Uh, right, so then I got my solder. <sighs> Entirely lead based, I strongly suspect. And then, I mean, I basically I don't think I need much else, do I? I don't. There's a bunch of other stuff in here, but I don't think I really need it. As far as I know. Yeah, you know what I should do though? Actually, you know what I should do? I should just watch a quick YouTube clip or something. Like how to, how to solder. Shouldn't I? I should do that, shouldn't I? This is the, um, this is the issue. Oh shit, you know what I also need to do? I need to strip this wire. Yeah, that I need to, do I? Oh, you know what? I don't think I do, actually. That's probably okay. There's probably, hmm. There's probably enough wire there. We'll see, we'll see. I'm not sure actually. Should I strip that? Um, mm, no, I am not gonna strip it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try solving it and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. But, but I think that it should work. What would be good is if it would stop turning and twisting. That you know, that would be really good. How do you get things to stop twisting and turn? Hmm. Okay. I can smell something. <laughs> I can smell. I can't feel anything, but I'm just wondering if that's hot now. Hmm. Let's catch up with chat. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about here. Yeah. <sighs> What's happening? There's loads of things happening in the chat. Jesus, what did you, you've, chat, you've chatted away, haven't you? You've just been chatting full on. Full on. Um. So you've been talking about cars, and then I'm going to skip that bit. <laughs> hot tub stream when? When you buy me a hot tub. Things I think it should be illegal to advertise for. Aurelia says tobacco, alcohol, money, lending, and gambling. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Ooh, nice. Good combo, too. Right. UK has the grossest picture. UK has the grossest pictures of diseased lungs, teeth, etc. on them now. For cigarettes. Yeah. May goes under the table through a portal and pops up into the trans cave, crosses fingers and wishes really hard. <laughs> That's not how I'm... Um, I'm afraid I haven't installed that. It's early days, yeah, just going to solder this little wire. Just test it on a bit of tin. That's what I'll do. That's a good idea. I will do that. Um, then you'll see if it's hot enough. I will. I can spit on it. Another great suggestion. Errol says, this reminds me of an idea I had about a retconned portal game with an 18 plus rating. Edel's been inspired by my portal meme that I, put a po I posted a portal meme, but only for my subscribers because it's in the not safe for work section of our Discord. If you want to join our Discord, there's going to be a link in the chat very, very shortly from one of my mods. Um, it's a great place. If you're subscribed to the Twitch stream, you get access to a whole new section of, uh, of fun, but it's only for grown ups, obviously. 18 plus, please. so much for chill i know things do fall apart sometimes don't they i'll just keep 113 one sorry 113 on speed dial good and uh, i don't actually knows where i live <laughs> so you know exactly where to send them <laughs> bricklets is the tip of is the tip of the iron actually floating in that holder no it's not it's not it's just actually on the metal oh shit! hey guess what has happened it's kind of left a bit of a mark in the metal. So that means it's hot. <laughs> that means it's hot. No, it wasn't floating actually. It was, um, it wasn't floating. In fact, none of it's floating. It's, oh shit, what? It's kind of, it's, hmm. Yeah. So I don't know what metal that is, but hopefully it's like um, not as, it's got a high melting point, I hope. Because I imagine that that's fairly hot now. I do need to put this back. So let's put that back like that. There we go. 
No, it's not really floating. Is it supposed to? I'm now going to take off the solder. And what I really need to do is figure out a way to make it so I can get easy access to this, which I just don't feel I've actually solved for yet. Let me just move my drink. Why is it not? It would be so much better if it was just floating. It's really not. There's a weird thing at the bottom there as well, which is preventing it. Right. But as I say, it was, it was extremely good value. There we go. I've got access to my circuit board now. But I do have a bare wood table. I'm hoping that that's not going to be a problem. Like, it's not just going to set fire to the table instantly, is it? Let's face it. Should be okay. Mm, ideally, I'd have like a metal thing to put it on, but I, but I just don't. Let's catch up with Jack because you're probably telling me how to do this, Mimi. And yeah, you definitely want to be clipping this. You definitely want to be clipping this. Um, you know that would probably be a good idea, Mayor. Watching a little clip just as a refresher since it's been so long. I think it's a good idea. Um, yeah, okay, strip. I see what you mean, strip. Now, then strip the wire, strip the wire, not me. Hello to dog. Dog, you come in just the right time. It's gonna go super exciting. Do you, dog says, do you want to borrow my soldering gun? You've got a gun? Like a solder, like, poof, that'd be excellent. Like it shoots solder onto your thing and you're done. That, that sounds pretty amazing. Uh, but now I'm just gonna stick with this for now. Keeping an eye on any unexpected smoke coming up. That's probably a really good idea. I hope you are all doing that. This is super duper hot right now, I think. Um, and I can smell stuff. I can actually smell stuff, and I'm not sure that's good. It's not good that I can smell things, is it? Um, so I am going to look at a YouTube. So does anyone have... I'm going to just find one. I'm going to find a... How to solder. How to solder. There we go. Soldering tutorial for beginners. This looks brilliant. Let's just let's just cut, let's just grab this. I think I found something. And it's only three minutes as well, so that should be okay. Let's put it up here. Uh, and I need my I need my headphones on. Here we go. Hello. Hold on. Wait for me. Wait for me. I haven't. Right, here we go. Oh, she's got all sorts of cool things. What's she got? Okay, that's how you can test if it's hot. By setting fire to paper. Oh, there's audio. There's audio. So let's jump right into it. Let's jump For right three into components it. in a circuit board, you'll want between 600 and 700 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 315 to 370 degrees Celsius. If you're soldering larger connections with more copper that's dissipating heat, then you may want a slightly higher temperature. With a temperature adjustable iron, you can see what works and adjust accordingly. Next, make your components stay in place without your help. Hey, this you got your follow you your Thank you for hands. the follow, Disney. If you're Disney soldering queen. a through hole component in a circuit board, you can bend the leads of the component into a V-shape so that it stays in place flush against the board. For components without long leads, you can use a piece of tape to hold them in place. There are any number of ways to keep your components steady, so feel free to get creative. Next, clean the tip of your iron. Use a brass sponge or wet sponge clean. to remove any oxidation or excess solder from the tip. A dirty tip is covered in metal oxides that transfer heat badly I want a and dirty can tip, guys. in solder joints. Always remove excess solder because you'll only make reliable connections using fresh solder that has rosin in the core. Rosin acts like a flux when soldering, which eats away the oxide layers that form on the surfaces of metals. In fact, the smoke that you see when soldering is a flux burning away, not the solder itself vaporizing. Without flux in the solder to clean your surfaces, you'd have a very hard time getting the solder to wet. Now we're ready to apply cool. solder. 
The whole principle is to heat up your joint evenly and melt solder onto the joint, not the tip of the iron. Apply the iron to one side of the components that you're trying to join, and feed solder from the other side. The oh, okay. time it takes to heat the joint depends on its size, the temperature, and the power of the iron. Tiny connections can take a few seconds, but large connections dissipate more heat and will take longer. Remember to make as much contact as possible between the iron's tip and your part. Hold the flat edge of the iron's tip against the joint, not just the point of the iron. Sometimes it helps to tin your iron by putting a small amount of solder on the tip to bridge the air gap between the iron's tip and your components to create better heat transfer. Hmm. When you're done, remove first the solder and then the iron. The joint will need a few seconds to cool, so don't disturb it. Last, check whether you made a good connection. I'm just gonna do it. I think I know what to do now. Surfaces? I think I know what to Is do. Is the joint smooth and shiny? Is there too much or too little solder? It's probably not excellent. It's probably not important what she says after that. So I'm just gonna get my gun. I'm gonna. Hmm. It would be good if I could just. Hmm. There's not a huge. Hold on, I'm not gonna get my gun. I'm gonna put my, my solder in iron bag. This and it's not a gun, is it? This. Hmm. It's a bit finickety, this actually. I sort of need three hands. Hmm. There. That's about right. Let's. Okay. Here we go. This is what we're gonna do it. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's not done, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, we haven't got melted solder yet. Let's try again. I'm not sure it's hot enough. Oh, come on. It's smoking, but I don't think it's hot enough. So I'm just gonna dial it up. Okay. It's in a good spot. And there was a little bit of smoke, but it just wasn't really, you know, it wasn't really melting. I think it's supposed to melt. So I'm gonna... I'm going to let it heat up a bit more because I don't think it was hot enough. Like either the dial temperature wasn't hot enough or it just hadn't got up to that temperature yet. So I didn't need to leave it a little longer maybe. Um, but I've got my, I've got my, my, my board and my wire in a good position now. All I need to do is just get that solder on, you know? Yeah, 300. I think that's about... Really hard to say actually because it's so small, stupidly small writing on that. But it's gonna be it's gonna be closer to that now, yeah, for sure. Ooh, it's quite it's a little bit scary this. <laughs> anyway, Disney Queen, I'm so glad you could join us. I was in your recommendations, was I? Fantastic. Normally I build Lego, as you maybe can see. But recently my ring light blew. Uh, well not blew, it didn't blow. But the wire, the wire came out, you know, the wire snapped or whatever. So I'm trying to solder it back on. I thought, you know what, I could buy a new ring light for like, whatever it was, $50 or whatever. Or I could get a soldering kit. It's like teacher, it's like, you know, catch a fish and give it to someone and they can eat some fish. Or if you give, if you, you know, you can give them loads of fish and then they can freeze it. That's, it's something, it's something like that, isn't it? I don't know. Um, <laughs> but it stinks. It's, I'm a bit worried I'm getting lead into my brain. But we'll, we'll you know, hopefully it's, hopefully it's not going to be a problem. What, what we got in chat? What do we got in chat? Right, so Saray says you rotate. No, I think this is okay. I think I've managed to figure it out. Um, 
Sorry, we watched the vid. Yeah, we watched the vid. Yes, the, the holder should leave the hot part free of touching anything. Yeah, it should, shouldn't it? But it doesn't really... doesn't quite do that. As I said, it's like super cheap shit. It's only good value if it actually works and doesn't burn your house down. That's that's true. That's true. Also, the foot would have rubber studs under it to keep it from sliding. Yeah, that would be better, wouldn't it? My only help to get delivered any moment, literally any moment, like in the next few seconds. It's actually, it's actually even here on release day, and it came from Denmark. Lego can't seem to do this with pre-orders. Wow! Congratulations, Bricklets. That's exciting. Even just going straight, like immediately start building it. Thousand says anyone else nervous right now? I'm nervous right now. I'm nervous right now. I'm doing it. It's hopefully hot enough now. I'll just get through chat and then I'll try again. The smell means it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> it's actually pretty nerve-wracking to watch. <laughs> Edel, I have faith, thank you, in Maya's survival skills. Mind, not her soldering skills, but survival, sure. I think we should have another poll. Is Maya gonna set fire to her herself? Like should we have a poll or something just before I start soldering? What's going to happen? Am I going to successfully solder this motherfucker? Am, <laughs> am I going to successfully set fire to my own outfit, stroke hair? Uh, or am I just going to literally burn the entire house down? Um, which, you know, would be would make for good entertainment for the stream, but I'm still not... I don't know if it's um, price I would be willing to pay. Or, or, or option four. I don't know. Maybe we should have a poll. What do you think, Aurelia? Can we do that? That might be fun. I, you know, I, it, I want to see what... Uh, I want to see if you, you know... Because yesterday we had a poll to judge your faith in whether I was going to open the safe, right? And I did. Most people and most people said, yeah, I think you can do it, Mayor. And there's one person who... who which, you know, and I'm not... I'm obviously not bothered about this at all. Otherwise, I'd, you know, because if I was bothered, I'd keep bringing it up, but... I'm not bothered um, and but there was one person who kept saying that and you said that I would you know not be able to do it and I proved you wrong didn't I so you were you were wrong like just just completely wrong anyway how will the soldering go we got great success in the poll of one boat we've got minor injury <laughs> we've got set fire to herself that's kind of a major in injury or burn it all down the whole thing is gonna just burn down and we've already got one vote for that so thank you for the vote of conference it's you isn't it it's the same person i know i know it's you you're the same one i bet <laughs> I'm gonna, so i'm gonna vote as well and i'm gonna say that it's gonna be a great success i hope <laughs> there's always the option i can abort as well i could abort like it's not a success but also no one was maimed like that's another option but you know we'll we'll see if that ends up happening i'm just gonna carry on because it smells and i want to turn it off and stuff so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna oh, the, sorry Water. found it eventually Water. Water. right not now i'm gonna solder here we go whole thing feels a bit warm and now i'm gonna okay now i'm gonna this has moved a bit, for fuck's sake. There we go. Uh, shit! It's definitely hot enough now. Have I managed to attach that? Hmm, not sure. Oh! There's soldering going everywhere. Uh, can I put that back? I need to get a bit more solder out. So I'm not 100% sure that I connected it. You can't see, can you? <laughs> That's annoying. Soldering gun's annoying. There's the... There's the connection. It's just mm, got some tweezers. I'm just a bit worried this is going to be hard, so I'm just going to open this out with the tweezers. Like so. I think I need a little bit more on there. I think I'm going to need a little bit more. So let's just give it another shot. 
Just make sure there's lots and lots of salt on this. Whoa! Wow. Right. I'm gonna put that back now. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave that to cool because it does look like it's connected. But I'm gonna leave it to cool. And then I'm going to go down and unplug because I need to just turn the thing off, I think. Because it smells. Um, oh no, it's here. It's here. What am I doing? Oh no, it's here, isn't it? The extension is the extension. Right, that's unplugged. The light is green, the trap is clean. I don't know if it's a successful connection. I suppose we're gonna, I'm gonna find out now, aren't I? So, it's not fucking connected, not, it's not even connected at all. There is no, there's no strong connection there. There's a lot of solder, but it's not connected. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. That's, no, that's fine. That's fine. Because the thing about me is that I don't give up. So we're going to go to round for round two. This is still going to be super hot. So I'll just plug it back in again. Yep. And we're going to give it another go. We're going to give it another shot, I think. Because there's a shit ton of salt on there. But it's not actually connected to the circuit, but I don't know how I managed that because I thought I had connected it, but apparently not. So we're gonna we're gonna give it another go. That no, that's not help. Um just thought if I could get it closer for you, but I don't I don't think I can. The battery's about as close as it gets. And also, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open the window. It smells a bit bad in here now. There we go. That's better. I've just opened it a crack. Hopefully it's not going to just swing open again like yesterday. Mm. No, it is as well, isn't it? Fucking is. Oh. Okay, I've, I've put it. I've opened it a crack. We are gonna give it another go. <laughs> and, then I'll, and then I'll find out what you're all saying. We're doing it. Just wonder if I can. Hmm. How did that not actually attach is the question. How did it not attach? I wish there was a little clamp or something. Give it another go. Hopefully it'll work this time, but we'll see. Um, I need to. What I need to do is I need to push it down. Once I've got the solder hot, I need to push it down onto. It. No, it's not going, 
it's not connecting and it's really annoying me now. Jesus Christ. I'm going to go through an entire reel of solder at this point. Is that on? Okay, that like, that looks just about connected, like just by a thread. Oh, this is awful, isn't it? I'm rubbish at this. That's actually fucking rubbish. Right, is that connected? It's fucking not! It's not connected to the goddamn circuit! How you do this? Uh, that did that do it? Yes, it did. It did it. <laughs> it did it. Great success. It's connected. It's actually connected. I, I bloody well did it. I didn't, honestly, I wasn't sure I was going to be able to do that, but I think I did it. <sighs> Ooh. Thanks for the, <laughs> thank you for the love, guys. <laughs> ah, I mean, I mean, there's this, the, the moment of truth is if I plug it in and it works, right? So, um, that's really, but that is, that is actually connected, you know, that's, watch me break, you know, that's, it's connected. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna unplug this while I remember because that'd be stupid. What I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna just move it out of the way so that they don't actually don't accidentally knock it off or something. <laughs> Cause we're not we're not out of the fire yet. We're not out of the I'm just gonna pick this up, that's all fine. I'm gonna put this somewhere safe. Um, I'm just gonna put it in the. Uh, no, I best keep an eye on it, haven't I? I don't want to put it in the other room. Where should I put it? I'm just gonna put it over here. Yeah, that should be fun. And I'm just gonna let that cool down now. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> It was kind of exciting actually <laughs> and just as the poll finished i did it <laughs> amazing scenes honestly it's like it was planned it's hollywood production budgets this um thank you all for your vote of confidence i didn't actually check i saw the winner but i didn't see the uh, the rest of the results so i don't know who voted for what uh it was pretend it wasn't unanimous i know that much Let's um, let's get the music on again. I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna just get my heart rate right back down again because things were getting kind of tense. And I really hope I don't just knock this and it falls off again. Let's just move this out of the way a bit. Cool. That's cool. Uh, I'll catch my chat and then we're gonna see if I've actually fixed it or not, or if it just looks right. Uh, hi Glenn, thank you for the concern. I do. I opened it. I just cracked a window open just now because it was a bit stinky. Um, 
Dog says, I, I lost his mind to repair my Bluetooth headphones. Well done. Well done. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something I'd like to do. I think it's one of those things you get, I'm going to get better at, you know, if I actually practice. But it has literally been like over 10 years since I did it at high school. Uh, <laughs> right, what's happening there? Uh, what's happening? Uh, yeah, I, got the, I sort of started to get it in the end. Thanks, Bricklets. Right, Ghost Fox, what is she doing wrong? I haven't sold it yet myself. Hmm. <laughs> full send. I did a full send, CQC can't I? That's correct. I did a full send with a tail whip. <laughs> Love some smoldering, some soldering, not smoldering, soldering content. Very good. That's the that's what we got on this channel. We got it all. We just got literally everything on this channel. It's amazing. Vari I'm now a variety Twitch streamer. <laughs> she almost flooded two holes using too much solder. I did what? He's talking about my flooded holes again, as usual. <laughs> Yeah, if you add the solder directly to the iron side, you get a worse connection. It was a big thing they taught at the electronics school I didn't complete. It's not as important for power cable soldering as I did this for electronics soldering. Yeah, uh, there wasn't much of a, there wasn't much else to do though. Like, you know, the wire was quite small and I probably should have stripped it thinking about it. But um, I thought I could make do and I think I did. Greatest Fox. Okay, thanks. Want to desolder the batteries on my SNES cartridge and resolder new ones, but haven't got around to it yet. It's cool being a solder. Disney Queen says they were wires. I'm intersex and asexual, so this is the perfect community. Disney Queen, you are very, very welcome in this community. We are, uh, it's a very safe space. We are all various, uh, I don't know how to put it. We're on, we're on various spectrums, honestly. Think of a spectrum and we're on it. I personally am on the ZX spectrum. That's a computer joke. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what do we? Oh no, there's a there's a clip already in the in the chat. I will I will check that out later. I get it. I, I'll be able to see all my clips at the end of the stream. Storage is here. I'm here to turn up the heat, but not very effectively. Your storage heating is rubbish. <laughs> You're calling yourself rubbish. You should have higher esteem. You should. <laughs> yeah. You give them a fishing net. I know, I know, it's a joke. Give a, give a man a fish, feed him for a day. Teach a man to fish, feed him for a lifetime. I thought I was just get a bigger freezer as well, because you gotta get a freezer. Isn't there something about getting a freezer as well? I don't know. The rotate, the rotate comment was before you sorted it yourself. I did sort some things, didn't I? I'm so far, I'm so far behind in chat. I'm just kind of maybe gonna have to skip a bit. Sorry, guys. Um, CQ says, I think we should have an open podcast. An open podcast. This is, so this is a stream. Um, this is a Twitch stream. A podcast is just audio only usually. Um, but we can, uh, you know, people can come in and be guests if they like to my stream. I accept all, all applications. You just need to fill in form 17B and get it co-signed, witnessed. Oh no, sorry, I'm thinking of a GRC now. Grace Fox. Okay, thanks. I did practice a practice run desoldering everything off and on an old remote control, but it's been a while. Very clever. Studio says, I just realized the clip on the charger for the MacBook clips onto the screen. What's this intention on Apple? The clip on the charger clips onto the screen. I, uh, I don't know what that clip is. I don't know if I've got one of those. No goggles, no mask, no safety, F in chat. Yeah, no, I didn't use goggles, and I also wore a very floaty blouse because um, that's, you know, that's the way I roll. It's, I think you should be, I think I got away with it. Maya, does your cake come with a solder pump? I don't know. Hey, maybe, actually. Um, yeah, there is something there that looks kind of pumpy. Hmm, it's maybe a solder pump. That's probably what that is. Huh. Uh, I can't reach the kit, but I think I've got a yeah. Okay, that's what it's, that's what it is. Thanks for the thanks for the heads up. <laughs> the chat watch is in silent horror. The solder tin doesn't keep heat much, Maya. You can basically hold it in your fingers. Heat dissipation is almost instantaneous. Okay, cool. Thank you. We got another clip by thousand. Exciting. Test the light. Test the light, and so on. We should test the light. You need to heat it up. We've done. Yes, I've done all that. <laughs> 
it's a it's a it's it's um a cheap wire stripper oh that's what that was is it yeah you might be right i've got a much better one so i probably won't be using that um tool could also use it to hold the wire could it yeah but it's it's done it's done uh don't add more tin before it's hot lots of good tips hmm remove the current tin then drip a little drop onto the plate said okay lots of tips but i did it <laughs> caladius um duck duck cover duck 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 tongue covered maybe i'm repairing a uh i'm repairing a ring light and we're gonna see if it works very soon studio says okay we can conclude the mayor cannot do everything no you can't you called it too soon because i just did it i think i think i did it okay i did it uh storage well it seems 30 percent of chat is praying for your downfall now you might have to be more strict with them i think i might actually <laughs> Anyway, then I managed to do it. Thank you, everybody. I did unplug. <laughs> um, and the window's open already. The window's been open all this time. Don't worry. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe we should do more soldering content because it's so it's so dramatic, isn't it? We got another cliff. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm really I appreciate all the help. Uh, you have been helpful. Kind of retroactively maybe because i'm actually reading it now <laughs> it might be worth thinking about reinforce the cables with hot melt glue or some such to stop them flexing in future yeah that's a good idea actually glue to hold them in that's actually a really good idea um i guess maybe well yeah we'll see but now i know how to repair it and so that'll also be good for my soldering skills as well because if even if it does snap then i should be able to you know re re refix it maybe and also the thing is right is that when i you know i did this on stream for the first time in a long time and that's like that's doing things on hard mode it's always doing things on hard mode if you're doing them on stream so if i'm just doing it relaxed at my own time you know with some music or whatever without all you guys pestering me i think i'll be able to do an even better job <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're doing multitasking 2000 very good um the the clip filled too many holes what 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 uh poll two will it work that's not a bad that's not a bad poll should we do that poll two will it work aurelia do a poll but make a do a shorter one don't do it for like 10 minutes do like a two minute one or something or maybe even less will the light work that is the question. I think I should try it. I really do. I really think I should try it. Um, I'm just wondering if I should put the cover on. I maybe should just to kind of protect it because otherwise it's maybe more chance of it popping off again, right? Let me just get the, the cover for the switch. If if it doesn't work, and also if I if it pops off or something, then I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna keep trying, and I'll I'll give it another go like tomorrow or something, just on my own time. Um. Right. What is happening here? So these are the uh, buttons. Um. Does it matter which way I put that? Maybe not. Let's just put that in there. <clears throat> I hope the circuit board fits, you know, considering the amount of solder I put in. Hmm. Maybe it's that way. That seems better maybe oh, it doesn't huh. doesn't really want to go back up you know what I'm gonna leave the cover off for now I think I'm just gonna leave the cover off um I couldn't I can't quite get it back on I'm just gonna plug it in and see what happens so I'll plug it into my USB uh, hub oh
and then um, that means it works basically, right? That that's gotta mean it works. What's which button is it? I can't tell. Oh, there you go. Oh, we lost the stream momentarily. Then I don't know why, but that's a successful job. No point doing the poll now. <laughs> you did it. Are you all still with me? Because it did go black for a second, for like a second, didn't it then? I don't know why it went black, but I, but I hope you're all still there. <laughs> um, cool, I've got my ring light working back again now. Isn't that great? I'm happy about that. Let's actually, let's actually put it up. Um, hope that these lights don't go out. Because that means it's actually working. Wow, I've actually, I've actually connected and fixed electronics. That's really cool. I'm really pleased with myself, honestly. I'm really quite pleased with myself. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, right, let's make a bit of space for this again. I can't remember how I did this. Clever girl. And then I need to just... So, this is the difference it makes. Okay, so... So, off. And then, and let's just hide my iPad. Okay, so that's off. And... Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the rotating color. There you go. That's on. Full brightness. I usually have it on that one, which is a little bit more yellowy. Um, and then the camera color adjusts. And it's, it's, it's better, right? It's just better. It's just a better look. So yay, I look, uh, I look properly lit again. How lovely. So I'll put the wire behind. That solder, that solder's holding, incredible. Can't quite believe it. I'll put, so these are the, this is the case. I'll just put that there for now. I, th I think I'm gonna have a cup of, I'm gonna have a drink of coffee now. I did, I can, I can light all my rings, my inner rings, my outer rings, all my rings. I got more rings than Saturn, honestly. I got scar rings. I got two scar rings. How many you got? I got earrings. <laughs> uh, thank you, Aurelia, thank you. Whoop, whoop. Uh, way too many people would just have tossed it instead. You're, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. And I didn't want to be one of those people. Uh, I'm also pretty proud I put new shocks in my washing machine. Hey, that's good. That's a good job. Well done. That, I mean, that sounds that sounds harder than even, even than this. Uh, Dog says, I use mine a lot and finally bought one with a digital temper temperature gauge. So this is definitely my first soldering iron you know it's it's not the best honestly it's not the best one you can get but you gotta start somewhere right right gosh i'm really burpy i'm gonna oh i'm gonna close the window now oh i believe the fumes have dissipated That's better. And I've moved my TV back as well, so I don't look, don't have to look all the way over there in order to see a chat, which is nice. <sighs> Ale says, I need to get myself a proper solder station with a heat gun, solder sucker, solder sucker, I don't know what that is, <laughs> uh, and regular, regular solder iron. Yeah. Well, I got, so I, you know, so don't, don't judge, but I got mine off. Temu, Temu, and it was significantly cheaper than, than buying one from a local shop. Um, significantly. And so I thought, you know, I'll get I'll get this one and see if I can do it and see if it works, see if I you know, see what it's like. And then probably at some point I will upgrade for sure. Speaking of rings, 
Uh, I need to go fill my Apple Watch activity ones. Bye. Have a good uh, workout or whatever you're going to do, soft dude. Um, fill your rings. I like filling my rings too. Siku Sikantai says, all joking aside, well, well, don't you did. Well done, I think. You did a good job and we are proud of your skills. Thank you so much, CQ. Um, and that was the moment of truth that uh, the thousands clipped as well. <laughs> Lots of clips. Kind of excited to see those later. <laughs> you know, you can use it to make jewelry also. Yeah, like that sounds like really, really skilled. And wood engraving. Wow, I didn't, you know, I never really thought about that. There's bits of solder on my table. But um, that does make sense. That does actually make sense, doesn't it? Can someone redeem a mayor's munchies, please? Because this is just looking at me and it's just saying, Maya, you want to eat me? And I'm, I can't argue with it. I'm like, I actually do. I actually do want to eat that. What's going on? This is a travesty. So CQ did redeem it. Thank you. And Thousand then said a travesty as well, but we got, we got the munchies. Ah, it's a big chunk as well. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, oh, thank you for that. That was actually really, um, you know, that hit the spot, honestly. And I got coffee too. And you know, maybe I was a little harsh on this yesterday. Maybe I was a little bit harsh, because now I know what to expect. And I actually really quite enjoyed that bite. Should we have a look at the new Lego for today? It's February the 1st, a bunch of new sets have come out. They're on the Lego shop. Some are available to buy right now, and some are on, some you have to pre-order. But there are some things which I think we should have a look at, you know? Because we were looking at it briefly yesterday. What the shit is that? There's a dog, there's, a, there's like a Lego dog turd. Clever girl. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't know why, but there is. Oh, there's a pole up. Which one should Aurelia build? Oh, what is that? Oh my god, is that Harry Shitter? It is, isn't it? That, <laughs> the taking the the taking the piss and the shit. What the what on earth is that? <laughs> it is Harry Potter, isn't it? I can see the little figure uh, mini fig. Which one should Aurelia build? I know which one you should build. I'm gonna vote. What's going on here? Exactly. Hmm. We're gonna have another May Manches. If you insist. I'm so I Thank you. So <laughs> it's per but it's perfect. It's almost like Leia it's almost like Lego know what they're doing now. And they're like they're just kind of secretly taking the piss. But I mean the I well I assume that that's something from the front from the transphobic franchise. The, G, the GCs are probably like, oh, it's such good design. Oh, I'm going to get seven of those. And display them all around my house. And then visitors will come and they're like, why have you got, why have you got a Lego in the shape of dog shit all around your house? I know. Right, we're not wasting that. Um, what Look at that, that, oh my god. That is just chef's kiss, isn't it? That. Look at that. I need, I need it. I know. I need it too. No, I need it more. I need it more than you. 
Right, everyone says it's the sorting hat, is it? But never mind that the amount of brown pieces. On the other hand, there's a lot of brown pieces. Yes, but you should still not buy it from that because if she gets like a commission from that, from that set, which I assume she does, right? I don't know. Then you're basically funding transforming. Just buy brown pieces from Bricklink. <laughs> if you want brown pieces, get them somewhere else, mate. That's good. I'm I'm very I'm very glad, Errol. Honestly, I'm very glad because every time someone every time someone who says they're an ally buys Harry Potter, another trans person goes back into the closet. I'm just gonna eat this. I'm just gonna eat it. Oh yeah, there's the back. Oh, it, it looks great. It just looks great. Is that a bit squashed? I think that's still a little bit squashed. I don't know why. That's not squashed. It's in a nice box as well. What is there's a handsome chappy showing off his spaceship. You build that thing? You're braver than I thought. Oh, that's cool as well. Oh, look. That is what it looks like on display. It looks bloody amazing. Wow. From these angles, from the like the lower angle and maybe from the rear, it looks even better than I thought. Like, seriously, it looks better than the UCS one. I know, Big Liz, I know, it looks better. It just looks better, though, doesn't it? It's like a super nice, super nice little scale for that. Oh, yeah, coffee and chocolate. Um, cool. And the interesting thing, actually, you know what? The interesting thing about this as well is that as far as I can tell, there's no... There's nothing obvious where you couldn't build it from just your collection. Yeah? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just looking at it and I'm thinking there's maybe like there's maybe like three pieces, yeah? There's the center of the escape pod or whatever it is. Then there's Sorry, I think I've got a crying child somewhere close by. And then there's the, the cockpit, which I can't zoom in on for some reason. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, um, oh, okay. So that is, uh, that's an existing piece. It's, um, it's a cone, 4 by 4 cone, which has got a hollow center. And then they've got another tile in there for the front of it to kind of just cap it off, which is, which is really nice, actually. But again, existing pieces, but but new prints for sure. Um, what I'm kind of wondering is if I can adapt my old midi America, uh, Ameri a Millennium Falcon, and just and just build this like without buying it. I don't know. Could I? I'm gonna go and get it. This is the this is the old MIDI one. Obviously, it's very different. But I'm just thinking that, like for example, for the for the cockpit piece, you know, I could I could use those pieces. It's not exactly the same, but it's pretty close, right? That is that is four by four, isn't it? Or is it? Oh, hold on. Is that a 4x4 actually? I, thi I think it is. Yeah, I think it is 4x4. Four four. No. Mm -hmm. 
serious upgrade, don't it? And then, so I could just, there's various pieces on this I could use. But look, I've got, you know, I've got printed two by two tiles. Are those printers, no, those are printed. Yeah, those are printed. So I could use those. And it's, you know, it's slightly different, right? But even so, I'm just wondering if I even have to buy it. Like I'm thinking I could, I could do a, maybe a brick link, or, brick link order just to fit in the rest. But, um, you know, all the grills on the back, again. Um, and I, th I mean, I'm looking at it. I'm th I think I might need to do a brick link order for a couple of things here where I'm not gonna have enough pieces. But it would be cool just to see if I could do that, actually, wouldn't it? And then not buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cheeky, but I've, I, I do, I'm just looking at it and just thinking, you know what, I, I, I almost could sell, I, I could totally build that. Like, I really feel like I'm close. Uh, let's see what's happening in the chat. Uh, Ariel says, Temu, the Temu ones and the cheap build Temu and such are fine for very occasional work. But for doing it often, they're just too janky, slow, not powerful enough. Indeed, indeed. And not possible to control the temp properly. Yeah, you know, you want something a bit better, don't you? Really? If, you if you're doing it a lot, then you want to upgrade for sure. Uh, I was hungry, thank you, CQ. Really, uh, I'm eating, but once I'm done, what should I build? Uh, well, I think what you're going to be building is the Kingfisher currently looking, looking at the votes. Uh, that's the sorting hat. Yes, it's the sorting hat. I did read that actually, didn't I? But I skipped, skipped to that one. Um, CQ th thinks I should buy it. I, I would, I would quite like to buy it. I was looking at the uh, price actually though, and um, in um, Krona, it's 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 um, one thousand one hundred and sixty Krona, which is a fair amount. Well, I mean, I don't know. That seems more than that seems more than eighty dollars eighty five dollars doesn't it it's eighty five dollars if you're in the states one thousand one hundred and sixty krona if you're in norway i don't think that's quite converted properly is it mm, i think we're paying more as is so often the case dog someone sent a pic of a lego butt plug what <laughs> is that the sorting hat <laughs> <laughs> Whenever someone who says they're an ally buys Harry Potter, they prove themselves a liar. Uh, maybe they don't think they're lying, but they're definitely, they are actually lying probably to themselves as much as anyone else. Designer said there's no stickers in the set. I know I heard that. Yeah, so it's all prints. And there's not that many. There's maybe, there was maybe three prints or four prints, maybe. Greatest. It was sad to see the Harry Potter game was one of the top downloaded PlayStation games last year. Sadly, too many gamers are like that. Yeah, it was sad that, wasn't it? That was really sad, you know. Um, and I don't, I, as far as I know, I, like a lot of people were streaming it on Twitch. Um, and it didn't last that long. Like no one's streaming it anymore. Um, it's just one of those games which was um, a fad, as far as I know. And then it quickly just kind of dropped off. So, um, so good. But still, it, it was too much, too much. It's really good, isn't it, Brickless? I read a book recently that with Antani said during a 20-minute house viewing in Clandudno, and it was still more imaginative and surprising than Harry Potter. Yes, I bet it was. I bet it was. I bet it was a much better book. <laughs> and also, it wasn't just for kids, wasn't it? It's was probably a bit more grown out. Um, Ariel, I must admit I do have quite a bit of Harry Potter stuff, but all of it bought before JKR came out as a raging transfer. That's you know, and that's that's okay. That, I mean, that's fair enough. You can't, we're not expecting anyone to be able to predict the future. Like the trans, you know, the, 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 the high trans council will forgive you for that one. Um, but I, I haven't bothered getting rid of it. Books, movies, etc. Oh no, but you do have to burn it now. I love the blue exhaust, great touch. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, the rear blue exhaust in the foreground. Let's go. Hello from Sweden. Four gods here. Hello. Oh, I'm my shit. I haven't checked it for my alerts. No, my alerts are working. Hey, how are you doing, Four God? It's really nice to see you. I just saw you in my real time chat. I'm nowhere near that, but 
I'm just going to skid down to the bottom. Hello, Duster. Duster's here as well. This is the original MIDI scale Falcon. And now I'm just wondering if I can re <laughs> redo a rebuild and make the new one with it. I think that'd be so cool. Um, have you got the 2013? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, hello, Full God. What what are you up to? It's been a while since I uh, checked out your stream, but it's always so fun. I really like your intro, actually. The the music. Hold on, I know what the music is. Wait, I've actually got it here. Don't tell me. The intro music is in your eyes, featuring a leader. That's your intro music, and it's really good. I was listening to it the other day, and I was like. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to find that on Spotify. Anyway, I hope you're doing really well. Uh, we are just looking at the latest. Thank you. The great, aren't they? Although this one's turned itself around somehow. Uh, it does that. But the brilliant, aren't they? They're actually Lego. Well, they're not Lego. They're, they're you know, knockoff Lego. But they connect Lego. So if anyone... So what happens is, for every bits, for every 50 bits... I put more Lego on my earrings and it's great fun. Like sometimes it gets quite low. <laughs> um, right, yeah, no, there's more. We're gonna look at, we're gonna look at, how do I go back? Let's go back. We're gonna look at the Carillion Corvette. That's what this is, it's the Tanti 4 and it looks just super special, honestly. I am, I am loving these new Lego builds. I am absolutely, oops, sorry, on. I am loving them. I'm loving them, loving them, loving them. Hold on, let me zoom in. zoom in. There's some fantastic details on this. Some really nice details, honestly. Um, hmm. So what struck me was I was wondering how they were doing this, this rear end, actually, these slopes. Can you see that? So they've got... They've got what looks like looks like a hinge, uh, a hinge element. Yeah, can you see it's the white thing underneath the two by four tile. But I'm just wondering how they've actually connected that. I'm not. I'm, I don't quite. Uh, I don't quite see how they've connected that, and I'd quite like to understand it. Um, it's not. Um, oh no, hold on. No, hold on. They're disconnecting it to the back, aren't they? They're not even connected into the front. They've just got the... Yeah, no, I think I see what they're doing, actually. They're, they're disconnecting it at the back. So the, the back and the sloping it down. And then they've just got another connector piece. Yeah, you're right, Bricklets. I know, I just realised it now. I thought they were connecting it down at the bottom there, but they're not. It's just, it's just hanging, isn't it? Cool. It's, it's cool. It's a nice little detail, actually. It works quite well. Um, and it just means that the oh no hold on but then they're not doing that here are they they're just putting a they're just putting a plate on the middle ones okay uh, but actually that's correct as well that's how it's supposed to be the, the the slopes are slightly different how ingenious it's really good it's really good I, this so this for me is it's it's as good as the Falcon honestly I think this one is as good as the Falcon as far as aesthetics go. Um, but basically, I just want both. I just want both of them, basically. Uh, so, yes, so you found it cheaper, have you, Aurelia? You found this, the Falcon cheaper. Google says 85 US dollars is 884 Swedish kroner. Uh, it's not quite the right type of kroner, Grace, but it's close enough. Norwegian kroner and Swedish kroner tend to be fairly similar. So, oh, oh, for God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's, you get two bits of Lego on my earrings. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, it tends to be fairly similar. So that definitely means we're paying over the odds. Like we're paying, what, more, like another 20%? No, more. It's more, isn't it? We're paying more than 20%. 85, sorry, it's about, so let's say 900 kroner. Let's be generous. If it's about 900 kroner, but I'm but we're gonna be paying. Oh look at that! That's that seems cheap. I don't know. It's about twenty percent, I guess. Right. What uh, pieces shall I use for my earrings? I'm gonna put this one on this curve, and then I think I'll put. Huh. I'll put this one. On. A green. 
wedge plate on <laughs> and on very good very good <laughs> thank you again uh dusty says i really want the mp4 that's coming out soon oh is that the racing car we were looking at that earlier actually we were looking at that fairly early on in the stream and it looks fantastic i think i've still got a tab it's still there it's the mclaren yeah look at that isn't that fantastic oh i keep hanging i keep pressing the wrong button i don't know why it does look really good it does look really really good i want this too there's so many things that i want so much good lego coming out Let's get a rear angle on this. Oh, that's cool. Huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then uh, there's the there's the back. So it's just uh, just orange transparent cones in the back for the jets. It's fine. Box is nice. Box is really nice. Again, she looks pretty happy with herself. There it has been displayed. Oh, look at the oh, look at the state of that. That's just perfect. Honestly, that is just perfect. They've done a really good job. Yeah, I mean that looks nice. That just looks really nice. Uh, no notes, honestly, no notes. <laughs> You're doing your laundry while watching. That's that's a good uh, usage of uh, that's a good multitasking skills you got there. Dustus says, now arguing with my cat not to explore the kitchen after I've made dinner. So Elle says, um, that's not a bad price. I'm tempted. Oh, cool. Thank you, for God. We got another cheer. 50 bits. That's another piece. That's another piece. Um, let's put some... Let's put some pink on. I like to try to colour coordinate these things, but... No, green and pink, that's not a colour coordination, is it? That's just terrible, but no, man. Uh, uh, it's on. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> One day I'm going to actually try and build something for real on my earrings, but for now it's just, it's just put pieces on. It's <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still looking at this, it's so good. <laughs> another one. Go on, another one. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, well, I think a slightly a slightly larger one, maybe. I'm feeling generous. Orange. This side, this side. Uh, yeah, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> Could I put R2D2 on my earring, as Duster? It's a fun idea, isn't it? It's a fun kind of a, it's kind of fun. I, I think it is fun. Um, can I put R2D2 on my earring? Which one? Like like the little minifig, the minifig R2D2. Yeah, I could do that for, for 100 bits. You know, because it's heavy. <laughs> the thing is with these earrings is they get progressively heavier. And so it gets progressively more, less and less comfortable. I did manage to put this whole ball on my on my earring the other day and actually that's that's quite a lot of lego it's um it was fun for a little while <laughs> and then i was like oh, <laughs> oh yeah cool good idea thank you for the hydrate Okay, Duster says the invisible hand has my attention, to be honest. So that's interesting. For me, the invisible hand um, is the least interesting one. However, the price point's pretty good, isn't it? So let's see if we can find the invisible hand. Let's go back to the... I should better go to Star Wars. It should be here, shouldn't it? Um, here it is. So this is the one for you, huh? I'm not a huge prequel person, honestly, but... Um, there's worse looking sets out there, no question, there's, there's much worse, and I would, I mean, I would quite like it. This is the Invisible Hand from episode 3, um, and it's quite interesting actually, I do, you know, the colour scheme's nice, I think they've got the shaping pretty good, 
Um, I quite like that. I do actually quite like the transparent blue for the, um, you know, the, um, the where you fly in, whatever. Um, there's some, there's some greebling work at the top there. Antenna is sort of interesting. Not antenna. I, that's the bridge, isn't it, up there? That's the bridge. Okay. Huh. Cool. Let's see, let's see if we can get some more angles. So... Here's the rear. Yeah, okay, yeah. Um, see the box? There's the box. So it's not quite as good as it is the, as the other ones. Although it does, it shows the it shows the um, still from the film, doesn't it? That I think. Though it is in though it is in episode three. Hmm. It's okay. As far as I'm concerned, it's the weakest of the three. But it's still okay. It's still not bad, and um, and the price is the price is much more reasonable as well. Seven hundred and forty Norwegian krona, so probably similar in Swedish. Um, I think actually that was like it was was it a fifty dollar set? I think it was a fifty dollar set. So again, we're paying over the odds over here, but for fifty dollars, that's not bad. If, I, if I'm right, was it fifty dollars? Was it a bit more? Not sure. Thank you for God. My Lego collection is um, comprehensive for sure. I got a lot of Lego here. <laughs> Thousand. So uh, you are saying that's a legal connection in it? What? I don't know which one you're talking about. Um, it's really good. The car isn't it? It's a really good car. Um, oh, hold on. So you've got the Tantive in Pro Shop as well already. Huh? How much is that? That's yeah, no, that's significantly cheaper, isn't it? It's interesting that you don't buy your Lego from Lego. Buy it from either Pro Shop, maybe Lake Kassen if you're in Norway. I haven't checked the prices, but they're sometimes quite reasonable. Um, and that's and that's probably what I'll be doing, quite honestly. <sighs> yes. Yeah, so anyway, uh, I can put R2D2 on my earring if you want, Dustin. Um, and the pro shop is the Falcon at seven seven five. Oh wow! And that is and that is uh, Norwegian Krona. Okay, <clears throat> now we're talking. Sorry, <clears throat> now we're talking. That is actually a really good price. Seven seven five for the Falcon. Like yeah, that is that's almost. I'm almost. I'm almost going to do it. Like literally after this stream, I kind of feel like I might just. What's delivery costs? Is it over a certain price and it's free delivery? Hopefully it is, but it might not. It might be over like a thousand or something for free delivery, is it? Uh oh, things are getting dangerous. <laughs> uh, which kit has the old Republic minifigure? Uh, I think that was the Invisible Hand. Was it? Was it the Invisible Hand with the uh, with the Kotor one? I think it might be. You really want the Darth Malak figure? Cool, cool, cool. Brilliant. Mayor Pro Shop has bought houses in Norway, so delivery should be fairly quick. My God, I'm so tempted now. I, I got a 500 krona gift voucher, which I'm trying to sp spend at the local Lego shop, but they never have any good Lego, so I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> it's uh, it's usually over the same price, but in Denmark the price point is a thousand krona, sure, sure. <laughs> oh, hey, more Lego. Let me get more Lego. Oh, four gold. Do you want two pieces or do you want me to put R2D2 on? <laughs> you choose. What would you what would you like? It's 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 entirely up to you. R2D2 it is. Let me go dig out an R2. I, sh I should have a bunch. This is my um this is my mini fig drawer. It is full. And there's like there's at least probably 20 or 2 D2s in there. So here we go, little guy. And to figure out a way to attach him actually. I don't know if I should so here's R2 D2. He's a bit dirty. You know he's got it he's he's got in he's got a bit mucky. R2 D2 is a bit dirty though, isn't he? And I need to somehow I think I should dangle him like this, right? I shouldn't just put him on sideways. So I'm going to find a little uh, bracket. 
There we go. It's going to be good. So this should work. Which side? No, this. Which has got the least. I think this maybe has the least weight actually. So I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to put it like that. Turn him around. And we got an R2D2. That's. <laughs> that's a first. That's, that's cool. We got R2D2 to to dangling from my ear. That's. <laughs> It works really well, that. <laughs> no, it's cool, it's cool. <laughs> no, no, it needs to get a lot heavier than this before I start complaining. But seriously, getting, getting, to, getting a ball on your ear, that's, there's a lot of Lego there. There's like probably about 10 times more Lego in this than on, the, on my ears right now. <clears throat> I'll be fine, no, don't worry about me. I will take care of my ears. I know my, I know my limits where it comes to my ears and um, we are not there yet. It's good to know your limits, guys. It's important. Especially when it comes to your ears. The Kingfisher one did it already. Yeah, no, I saw that. So is that what you're building? Spoiler, the, the, um, spoiler had they tied, I would have built that too. Yeah, the Kingfisher is really nice. And it's also a little bit quicker as well, maybe. So I was thinking about the next task. And the next task, the next thing that I'm interested in doing I mean, maybe we'll look a bit more Lego because there's some good Lego there. But I was just kind of thinking about this um, uh, Klingon battle cruiser, which has been on my mind, and I've been uh, I've been really wanting to kind of make a good start on it. I don't know if I can do it now because I'm a bit tired. It's kind of a bit late, isn't it? But um, this is this is the progress so far. It's like the the rear back, the rear <clears throat> engine or whatever, um, and I'm going to kind of carry on building this and see how far I get because this is going to be I'm hoping that this is going to be my next instruction set because I've just released the enterprise and it's doing okay selling selling a couple of selling once every day every day or so maybe which is which is fine um, um that, that probably will drop off a bit it usually it does no 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 it's not a Klingon bird of prey Dester although I would like to do that as well to be fair now this is a battle cruiser so let me just bring up what this is actually then I can show you what it is it's um if I type in Klingon well I guess battle cruiser right now yeah there you go it is it is the first thing you see yeah. so it's it's that yeah it's really good I really like it it's a good uh, it's a good old spaceship that. and so um, I have a, I have an old one actually I've got two old ones so I've got this one which I've I've cannibalized a little bit in order to start making the new the new one um, but it's not a bad first effort it's not bad no um, and then uh, but it's old as well. It's quite old. I haven't I haven't done anything to it for a while. So there's a lot of new techniques, a lot of new pieces that I could use. But then I've also got this, which I'm quite proud of, because I ordered a lot of the parts in sand green, so I could make a sand green one, which I really wanted to try and do. Um, and it's um, in some ways it's better, in some ways it's worse. What I want to do is I want to com com combine all the best parts of of this with this make a slightly bigger one use new pieces new techniques um, and just basically make the ultimate Klingon battle cruiser at this kind of scale like it's gonna be like it's gonna be a bit bigger than this but basically the same scale as my uh, as my um, original enterprise so that you can kind of place you can have them like as a, as a as a pair you know it's quite it's quite a nice thing to have together I think no no oh, oh, oh we got a new follower mad job hello my job thank you for the follow it's very kind of you I hope you're having a great day I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to sort out my bloody can you see that it's fucking shit being a woman honestly because that that's annoying right Who'd, ever, who'd want to be a woman? Well, apart from, obviously, trans women. 
uh, and women. But this is annoying about girls. This is really annoying. There you go. I did it. <laughs> Fucking managed it. How you doing? Oi oi. <laughs> Savaloi. Are you um? Are you British? You what, mate? There's my marks. Thank you for the link, Story. Just very kind. I do have custom Lego kits for sale. Well, actually, sort of. So I've got the instructions. I've got the instructions for sale. And then you can either use pieces from your own collection if you've got the pieces. If you don't have the pieces, there's this quite an easy way to actually order the pieces through Bricklink. Um, because every, all my instructions have like an inventory on Bricklink so that you can just kind of press a few buttons. It'll fill up your, 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 your shopping trolley. No, shopping cart. <laughs> whatever it's called. And, uh, and you'll get the pieces ordered in. And that's a good way of doing it too. Um, uh, so yeah, uh, just follow that link and check them out because there's loads of really good ones. Have you done any kits from the Halo franchise? I haven't done actually, although there's some really cool designs on Halo. So that would um, that wouldn't be a ridiculous idea, honestly. I really like the Warthog, although you know what, I won't be the first one and I probably won't be the last one to have done that. There's, there's quite a few of those. Um, but they are, they are some good designs on there. Some good designs for the bigger ships as well, aren't they? Okay, you're from Sweden. We got, so we got a bunch of Swedish people in today. That's nice. Neighbours, friendly neighbours. I live in Norway, but I am actually English. How's it, how's it in Sweden today? Have you been hit by the storm? Because we got properly hit by the storm last night. I was streaming and they voted, my chat voted for me to open a window. And honestly, I should not have. I shouldn't have listened to them. But I, but I'm, you know, I'm a people pleaser. I'm a people pleaser. What can I say? And so I did open the window, and it was absolute chaos. <laughs> um, actually, I opened it twice. The first one was a letdown. The second time, just like I almost died. So um, the storm was pretty bad last night. Yeah. But the whole house was shaking. Honestly, so you know this. So this is my bedroom as well, my, this is my little bed. And I was just lying in bed and I got and I could look out the window and I was I was looking at the big tree outside, just kind of, you know, shaking and wobbling around and I was like, oh my god, I hope I hope the tree doesn't fall on me. I hope the house doesn't fall down. I hope and you know, there's various things I was thinking. And I wasn't sleeping whilst I was thinking about all these things and listen and feeling the house shaking. So I um I'm actually kind of tired. I'm pretty low on sleep. I, I need to catch up on some Zeds tonight, that's for sure. I hope it's hope it's calmed down a bit. If anyone wants to redeem the last little bit of this amazing dime, I actually, I actually am a convert now. It's a dime caramel latte, limited edition. If you can get your hands on this, honestly, I'd quite recommend it because it's it's not bad. I don't know how limited it is. Maybe um. It might you might have missed your chance because I think that this was like a fifty percent or something. Thank you, Emil. Thank you. Water. Water. And we got a and we got a hydrate. Water. Water. You do look after me. It's nice. <laughs> you missed it, didn't you? Thousand. You saw the first one, and it was it was like a real anticlimax. I opened the window. It's like, are you ready, everyone? I open the window, and it's like, Phew. okay, that's uh, that's. I thought it was going to be worse than that, and then I heard it later on in the stream, and I was like, there must be. There's like, it sounds like it's really keying off out there, and so we did it again, and the second one delivered. The second one delivered. Actually, you know what? You should check it out on the VOD. And if once someone wants to find that and clip it, I'd love to see a clip of that because it was like um, the window flew open, my stool kind of fell off, there was bangs, and it was. I don't know. I'd like to see what happened actually because I was in it and it's it felt pretty dramatic. <laughs> it was carnage. <laughs> Uh, it, it was very windy here today, was it? Yeah, same here. 
but I think it's hitting, like, I think it's properly hitting more north of Norway now. So I think the Lofoten was hit um, earlier today. I don't know if it's moved on from there. Thank you. But yeah, the sea, oh my God, the sea. Ridiculous. I would, uh, if there's one place I definitely would not want to be, I'd like, I'd much rather be in this house, which has survived many storms and it's, it's like hundreds of years old, solidly built. Right. I'd much rather be in this house than in the North Sea in a boat. Like, I can't even imagine what it, or, or on one of the rigs or whatever. Jesus Christ. One of the platforms. Mm -mm -mm. That would be, that would not be my cup of tea. So, where's my studio? Oh, I just remembered that my studio has been a bit weird, isn't it? Because I'll be like, I wonder if there's an update. Hmm. Oh, do actually, that is a good question. I do wonder if there's an update. Let's just see. I think I've got a beta version of the studio. So, let's see if they are going to update me. Are you going to give me an update? Yes, there is an update. It was released about a week ago. I really hope that this fixes the Mac issues. This is now just downloading. Hopefully. Although it also appears just to have disappeared, but I think it might be that. Duster says, I'm back. I found a Glostor, a Glostomitor, Glostomitor Lego kit. A what? Early jet fighter for 104 Norwegian kroner for the instructions. Very nice. You do like your jet fighters, don't you? You found that on Rebrickable, did you? It's a really good website. CQC, yeah, fuck that Ulrich shit. I've got a buddy who I train with who is on them. That's that's pretty intense, I think. I mean, it's probably okay in the summer and when it's like a nice day and it's calm, but when it's um, like yesterday, when it's proper storm, like almost hurricane force, I would not want to be there, honestly. That's not that's not my bag. <laughs> Storage. I was in Aberystwyth during a storm. It's Aberystwyth is in um, Wales. It's right on the world coast. Ah, yes, it is. <laughs> All I needed to do was read ahead. Thank you so much, Fogard. What would you like to put? What would you like me to put on my earring now? Would you like me to put another? I could put a, like another thing on my. Like another little minifig, if you like, maybe. Just to balance it out, I'm just wondering. Hey, C-3PO, right? Shall I try and find C-3PO? <laughs> I think I got one. Or oh, what, you know, you choose, your choice. The waves came right up the hill and over the, wait a second, the waves came right up the hill and over the town? Oh my gosh, that sounds ridiculous. <laughs> we got another cheer. Thank you so much for God. Um, that's definitely a C3PO if you want it. Okay. If you've got a preference, let me know. Otherwise, I'll just kind of, um, I'll choose. I'll choose something. You choose. Okay, I will choose. I will choose. I think you've earned yourself a C3PO. I'd like to see that. I think that would be so funny. Let's Let's do it. Um, where's my... Oh, it's down here. <laughs> I was wondering where that went. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got one. <laughs> Oh, it's an old CPU, but it'll do. And we had a blobby too, very good. Oh, thank you so much, Fogard. Yellow Witch. I think the Yellow Witch has been around recently, has she? But she's not on today, but that's so kind. Thank you so much. We're gonna, I'm gonna connect. How am I gonna do this? I think I'm just gonna sit him on. <laughs> That's awesome, Fogad. How do I get this on then? 
Oh no. Okay, maybe I'll maybe I'll put him on. There we go. All right, I know what to do. I know what to do. Let me put a bow plate on. So I'll put him on here like that. There you go. I think that works. <laughs> and now let's try and get him back on my ear. Which is often difficult. No, no, Bogart, don't worry about it. Oh, come on. I, I really want this to work. There you go. There we go, we got cc and now to do two on my ears. That is, that is ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, we might need to have a little, we might need to redesign if people keep going with the cheers because it's sort of a bit of a dead end. I don't know, actually, you know what? I can still connect stuff to the feet. No, I can't, no, no, it's not, it's fine. I can connect stuff to the feet. Uh, I just had a quiet blobby to myself while you were away. I know I saw that storage. I missed it, but I appreciate it. I also appreciate it, but I missed it. For God, when I was in Copenhagen today, you've been in Copenhagen, nice. Uh, in uh, Denmark, it was windy. Now that I'm back in Sweden, it is also windy. What were you up to in Copenhagen? Were you doing, um, were you doing a gig, a DJ set or something? So if anyone doesn't know, For God is a DJ. He's got a Twitch, uh, he's got a channel on um, Twitch. Which is actually very good. And so if we could get a shout out to Four God, one of the mods, please, that would be fantastic because um Four God's a good supporter of the channel as well. And we do we do appreciate that. There you go. So if you like uh, if you like your dance music, uh, if you like your DJ sets, then um, drop drop Four God a follow because he's a very talented. Very talented little chappy. My daytime job is in Copenhagen. Most DJ jobs also in Denmark, but you live in Sweden. Oh, okay. Daytime job is in Copenhagen. So do you, do you commute? And you're very welcome. Uh, do you, so you, wait, now you can't commute every day, surely. So is it like a commuting like once a week thing? Or how do you work that out? Because that's, you know, that's obviously quite, a lot of people, do that they often but usually it's like uh, they go down to so in Norway they sometimes fly down to Oslo for the week and then fly back to wherever they live in the you know for the weekend oh you just drive over the bridge oh you oh, well actually that's pretty close I didn't know you were so close cool that's actually really helpful that's handy just over the bridge although the bridge is quite expensive too isn't it well you I assume you've got like uh, yeah yeah so you like live near Malmo or something um, I assume that that you've got a good deal, like a tick, a season ticket for the bridge. Because whenever I go over that bridge, when I drive over the bridge, it's really cool. I really enjoy it. But but it's always like, oh gosh, that is quite expensive. <laughs> Especially because it's not just. Oh no, to Copenhagen it is just the one, isn't it? Because if you carry on driving, then you've got another bridge which is expensive too. Denmark's just loads of really pricey bridges, honestly. <laughs> I've I've driven I've driven all the way and I've driven down to uh, Germany, um, and going through Denmark. It's actually really cool. You know, the, those bridges are fantastic, but um, um, it's quite a drive as well. But I do quite I do enjoy driving. When I get into Germany, it's like okay, in Germany now I can just put my foot down. Just keeps on going. <laughs> <laughs> don't seem to get anywhere quicker now because there's like loads of roadworks and things Aurelia's doing some uh, Aurelia's doing some building what are you doing what are you doing right now I don't know what no yeah I know what that is that's the base for the kingfisher right okay it, it looks like it doesn't look like much of anything to me but I can see that it's going to be the base for the kingfisher because you're going to get the water on top and the, there's like a swing arm thing for the kingfisher, which looks kind of interesting. <sighs> Not entirely dummy bag one, but wanted this shot before I put on the rounded stuff. Very good. 
It's expensive. Yeah, but I'm a Twitch streamer. So, you know, we make both loads of money. I know. Tell me about it. Like, it's just incredible. It's an incredible lifestyle. I can recommend it to everyone. If you want to, you've seen it on, like, you've seen it on Instagram where they're just on drinking champagne. They've got private jets. You know, they're, like, blinging out with the watches and jewelry. Do you know how they managed to do that? Well, I don't know either, but it's definitely not Twitch streaming. <laughs> <laughs> but we do it for the love, don't we? We do it for the love. Oh God, it's uh, it's not it's not just all about the bling blingity ching ching bling. It's also <laughs> or whatever it is. It's also about the it's about the love and the community and the fun and the chat and you know. You have wait, hold on a second. Maybe for God is actually serious. I have champagne and strippers every evening at my place. Well, I should come over. Maybe should I come over? I don't know. It's not. Like it's at the bottom of Sweden and I'm like halfway up Norway. So I might be a few hours, <laughs> but it sounds like a good party at your place. Bricklets, you've got, uh, you've got a thousand pieces. My ornithopter has arrived in over, wait, in over a thousand pieces. You, but you do need to build it, right? It's Lego. That's how it works, very close. I don't know if you have you have you played Lego before. So it's, it's really good. You should play it. Um, what you do is, <laughs> is you put the pieces together. What do you What do you mean? <laughs> it's not pre-built. Like you gotta build it to get the, <laughs> to get the Lego set. <laughs> But it says, and by making loads of money, you mean making Jeff Bezos loads of money. That's true. He takes 50% unless you're, in, unless you're a partner. And then he takes almost 50%. I don't know what it is, actually. So, <laughs> Piglets, what, <laughs> what are you actually talking about? You said that it's coming a thousand pieces. And, and I'm assuming that it's... Like what, is it like lots of little boxes or something? I don't understand. <laughs> oh God, um, for God, you shouldn't have said that because now everyone's going to come over. We're all just going to drive down to Marmo in the big trans bricks bus. Harder to say than you might think. And we're just going to crash a party. I hope that's okay. Put the champagne on ice. A thousand says, many may think Mayor is being condescending. <laughs> talking down to you that's what condescending means if anyone's wondering but this is lego basics 101 i mean it is it's lego basics 101 and I, I i never want to assume how much lego knowledge a person has you know because um i you know i i, I don't know we're all at different levels and that's that's okay that's okay <laughs> but with lego you need to put the pieces together Okay, good. Okay, we're getting some clarification on the ornithopter. It is in one piece. Who? And there's not a scratch on the box. That's 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 good, Bricklets. You had us all very worried, but <laughs> that's going to be a really fun time. Honestly, you're going to have fun with that. I'm looking forward to. Um, you should be. Um, you should build it. You should take photographs of it. I want to see the photos, basically. And I also would like to buy them as well. Oh God, he also takes 50% when you're a partner. Unless, oh, unless you're a partner plus in the partner plus program. I am just ordinary partner, so he takes 50%. Oh my God, what's the, what's the point? What's the, hold on. So what's the point of being a partner? Because I thought the whole point of being a partner, you know, apart from the fact that it's like added pressure where you've got to stream so many hours, you've got to make sure your average view account is a certain you know in the in the good green range or whatever over 75 uh, average right but um but then what's the point surely you get something back from that don't you otherwise it's just like oh more stress more pressure it's like it's like it's like being promoted at work but you don't get a pay rise it's like what what's the point and you're chasing that elusive partner plus hmm very suspicious. Jeff Bezos, eh? Ah, Jeff. Ah, Jeff. He's a bit of a, he's a bit of a conniving, conniver. 
Transbrex bus, where's the freaking jet? Well, no, on this channel, we are environmentally friendly. So the Transbrex bus is electric and also with a, with a, with a special, I don't know, it runs on, it runs on, um, <laughs> uh, cow poo. There you go. I don't know if that's a thing, but I think it's a thing. It should be a thing. The Yellow Witch is here. Hello, Yellow Witch. You just got your, you're a subscriber now, Yellow Witch. You just got gifted. No, it runs on cow poo. That's the surreal thing. No, that's, um, there's a lot of energy in cow poo. There's a lot of calories, a lot of jewels. <laughs> just try setting fire to <laughs> No, actually don't. Don't try and set fire to one. That's a bad idea. Oh God, you've gifted loads, but you're not actually gifted yourself one. What's going on there? You should be kind to yourself. Or someone, someone else should be kind to Four God, maybe. Just, just going to throw that out there. Someone maybe should be nice to Four God. Four God's nice to us. <laughs> um, Aurelia is still building. Yeah, she's building the... um. I don't know if she's sad, but she's building the Kingfisher. It looks fantastic. Let's have another quick look at the old Kingfisher, shall we? Because we were... Oh, there you go. Four God does subscribe. Fantastic. It's because the Yellow Witch gifted it. Yay. That's kind of... That's, that's so nice. That's like, you know, getting you back. It's wonderful. Thank you, Yellow Witch. Um, right. We are going to go and have a look at the Kingfisher. We've just been looking at the Invisible Hand, which... Um, which yeah, maybe like maybe yeah, I don't know maybe if you really like the pre if you like the prequels if you like if you're young and you like the prequels and maybe you really like episode three, it's probably possible it's possible then um that could be the one for you. <laughs> so we got another one actually, and this is one I haven't looked at, but this also looks kind of good actually. I'm not sure it's worth it. Because it's not, it's not cheap again. 740 krona on this end. But it's, it's, it's all right. It's, this is the, like the first scene from, it's the first scene from Star Wars, isn't it? Where Darth Vader comes on and gets on Captain Antilles and goes, where's the secret rebel beast? All this kind of stuff. You know, he kind of picks him up. We're on a diplomatic mission. You know, all that kind of stuff. What's he say then? If this is a... Uh, where is the ambassador? I can't remember what he says. If this is a... If this is a something or other... What's he say? If this is a something... Then where's the ambassador? I don't know. But you got a free plane at 777 followers, right? Well, they reneged again. But um, Boeing, they pulled out. I hate it when I hate it when they pull out. But they did. They pulled out. So um, so yeah. So I didn't get it. Didn't get the plane. It's annoying, isn't it? That? <laughs> Look at all this. Okay, Four Guys says, ah, it's okay, what's up later? No, you subbed, you subbed straight away because it was a gift. <laughs> You're going to cook. Cool. Hope you have a great dinner. But he says, oh, also don't give gifts randomly these days. Target them. We got follower botted and a third of current followers are fake. That is true. Aurelia's got a really good point. We did get follower, follower bombed recently, which is why this is like, I don't know what to do with this because I don't know where I am. I'm... I'm probably about 800, but it's hard to say. <laughs> so, so, um, so yeah, don't give you don't don't gift away a random subscription to a bot. That would be awful. So, I really going to get all three. Cool, and it's a popular choice, I think. Interior of that midi scale set. The um, which one? The um, invisible hand. I didn't really see the interior. What's an interior? Uh, for God says, before I go to the kitchen and cook, let me give you all a box of Super, super Dickmans. We just got a box of Super Dickmans. Amazing. What the? What on earth? <laughs> I, I want to know. 
I want to know what a super dick man is. I'm going to find out. This is a really bad idea. Type in this into my iPad. Super dick man. That's a really bad idea, man. That's a great way to get banned from Twitch. I'm going to type it in my Mac first and then I can vet it. Super dick dick man and i'm just spelling it how i think it's gonna be spelled but maybe that's wrong too <laughs> um safe search is on thank goodness what is this it's german is it yeah it is <laughs> <It's ger> <laughs> we we were looking at what were we looking at yesterday we were looking at um Perfume coming, Alan, Alan Cummings perfume. <laughs> We're looking at Alan Cummings perfume, and that was that was bloody hilarious, honestly. Um, did I not copy? I thought I copied it. Come on, copy, copy, copy. Roger that, copy. Yes, allow the paste. So, this is a uh, super dick, man. Sounds like a superhero, doesn't it? It's nothing super. It's nothing superhero about this. Oh yeah. Who wants? Who wants to order me? Who would like to order me some super dick mans? <laughs> <laughs> Who would like to order me a big box of super dicks mans? Because I think uh, I would. If you do it and send it my way, I will eat them live on stream and give you my opinion. On the taste sensation that is super dick man <laughs> for God's sake I once bought 109 109 super dick mans wow <laughs> I was you were eating a lot of dick on stream and it was bad <laughs> 109 that's a lot that's maybe too many I don't know if even I could manage that and I've had a lot of dick mans in my life <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just catch up because we got a first time chat from DTGS. How long have you been into Legos? It's first time chat with an immediate question and the answer is a long time. Since I was five years old. Since I was five years old, that's when I got my first Lego set. In the 90s. In the 90s. Can't remember, don't ask me which one it was. For God, there is a way to fix that follow bot thing. I don't know how though. My mods fixed that for me when that happened to me. Yeah, cool. I think there is a way, isn't there? But also, I think that if I just wait, Twitch will sort it. And I'm very lazy. This is something you have to understand about me. I'm very, very lazy. So if Twitch will sort it out and I don't need to, then I will probably just not bother and let them do it. But if there is something I need, if there's something I need to do, if there is actually something I need to do, then I should. I should do that in the expense. Or maybe Aurelia could do it for me. Hey Aurelia! <laughs> Aurelia presses the wrong button and I have zero followers. Oh, just imagine Aurelia. Just imagine if you did that and I had zero followers. What would you do? You would apologize for sure. <laughs> you pressed the wrong button. Oops. <laughs> Uh, storage. According to an earlier poll, oh, we got a new follower. Stax Dead Empress. Thank you so much, Stax. Thank you so much. I hope your Thursday is as good as mine. Because mine's good. I hope yours is good too. According to an earlier poll, 70% of us were watching in horror and support while Mayor soldered something. And 30% of us were hoping for some light burns. <laughs> That's, was it 30%? That's horrendous. I cannot believe that 30% of my followers or audience, whatever, right now are hoping that I hurt myself. That seems, that seems cruel, honestly. Like, you should, you should check yourself, honestly. What's going on there? What's going on in your heads? Seriously. <laughs> I didn't, by the way. I did actually successfully solder my ring light. It's there. It's on. It's bright. It's working. I soldered it wasn't working and I fixed it amazing stuff I think I've got about four clips <laughs> there's probably about four clips of that because everyone was just watching in horror because I had no idea what you know the you know the meme with the dog like on the telephone 
you know, the, the dog on the telephone. It's like, I have no idea what I'm doing. It was that. That was basically the situation. It was sort of funny and also kind of scary. But I did it. <laughs> yeah, you just need to remind me maybe already. Yeah, because I, I do forget. And I have no idea, DT. I have no idea. Why do people send follow bots? It's such... It's. I mean, yeah, it seems like a waste of time for sure. I'm not sure how much money it costs. I guess time is money. So, yeah. <laughs> it was exciting. Uh, it's so bizarre. I thought in the old days people paid for higher follow counts, but now it seems a way of trolling, and I don't understand that either. It is weird, isn't it? It's like... <laughs> It's so under, it's so devalued. I see people like, for example, on Twitch or Instagram, they've got like 100,000 followers. 100,000 followers, wow, look at that. They do a post and they're getting no interaction. Like, you know, two or three likes on some of the posts. And I'm like, okay, it says you've got 100,000 followers, but you don't, do you? That's a lie. You've got like 20 and one of those is your mum. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, you know, you've always got to check to see, never just uh, never just assume that people are actually, you know, big accounts just because they've got large numbers. Always check their interactions. Always see if there's actually people talking to them, liking the stuff, retweeting the stuff. If not, it's worthless, isn't it? It's just worthless. It's just a number then. For oh God. I was, yeah, no, I read that. Sounds horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, we can get we can get similar to those in Copenhagen. We have them in Denmark. Oh my God, you've got thick mans in Denmark. Incredible. Actually, you know what? I've got an app for that as well, so we can maybe just like order them and get them sent to our hotel room. That'd be cool. If you want to visit Maya, you can just ask. You want? I do. If I want you to visit me. Oh shit! And you know where I live as well, don't you? It's, no, but no. Please don't come. Please don't come. <laughs> Oh God says, also put one in the microwave and it turned into Darth Vader. Oh, that's, that's how they make them, is it? Is that what the Emperor did? I thought so. He'd, that's how you'd make a Darth Vader, is it? <laughs> it's what I want to know, Yellow Witch. How did you actually get through them all? That's the question. They're called Fleur de Baller. Okay. That's not as funny, is it, though? That You see, the thing is, the whole point of this is that they have to be called Super Dickmans. Otherwise, I'm not eating them. I don't eat any old rubbish. It's gotta be it's gotta be premium quality Dickmans. You had to give some away, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I go I go make a coffee and come back, all of a sudden we're all Dickmans on here, but that's the look, you you've been here before, right? You've been here before, Ashleen. You know what it's like. It doesn't take long for us to get onto the Dickmans. <laughs> or equivalent. Imagine having useful mods. Imagine that storage. Imagine. I do have one. No, actually, I could pick up a really good mod. Uh, she's called Aurelia. Really good one. <laughs> we could visit uh, Frelson's, a confectionery, to get some slightly higher quality dicks, mans, or whatever. Yeah, no, let's do that. That sounds, that sounds good. <laughs> Bricklets, they used to be called Dickmans. What? I was almost going to read that. Oh my god, Bricklets. What the shit. <laughs> what the... F what the honest fuck is that? I'm not even going to say it because it's wrong on so many levels. <laughs> I'm not surprised they changed it. Hey, Super Dickmans is the toned down version. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those chocolates are racist. <laughs> That's insane. Um, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> you do get used to it. We do get used to it here. Yeah, you get used to the tone. This is the tent. This tends to be the tone. It doesn't sometimes start like this, but it pretty much always ends like this. I don't know how. I don't know why. Honestly, it's it is. I don't know if it's got something to do with me, but honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going wrong with these people. I keep telling them. It, uh, so as Tite says, I think, I'm pretty certain it was Thousand Stars voting three times. Do you think it's Thousand Stars doing the, um, trying to, trying to sabotage me? Sabotage. Ho 
hope yes okay not as much hoping as much as expecting expecting it all to go wrong you know it could have done it could have done that you know because there were there was things going on there which was a bit it was a bit chaotic you know so there was always that chance i think i got away with it may is smart and not clumsy so yeah really you sure i mean i'm sort of smart but i'm a little bit clumsy it's true maybe not that smart <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just wants the world to burn. Bang it. In your head, in your head. Uh, don't know what that is. It's bots. It's bots all the way down. Bots. No one called them by the brand, but that was the official name. The Dickmans. Pay for bots is common on Twitch. Yeah, but we didn't pay. You know, we didn't pay. We just got bot, bot bombed. Bot bombed. And, um,. And no money exchanged hands, obviously. Like, why would why would you pay for that? Is that that's the thing? I don't know what this just doesn't seem to be a value to it, honestly. It's just confusing. Thousand. Um, also on Dead Bird app, it was easy to check how many followers were bots. Some big bigots were half and more and more bot based, like more than half. Totally. Yeah. No, a lot of them are. A lot of them are. Uh, and even the even the like the minor celebrities like like GB news broadcasters and stuff. If you actually look at their interactions, they don't get much interaction on the posts. It's very concerning for the number of followers they have. But it's, like it's just awful that they're doing that. But that's what they're doing. It's no surprise either, really, is it? GB news broadcasters. Yeah, of course they're fucking it. Of course the, you know, they they're not they don't play by the rules. They don't they don't even they don't think that the rules apply to them. It's all just a con, it's all just a grip. They don't know the word of the they don't know the meaning of the word authenticity. They think it's a place in Belgium. Yeah, you have microwaved off. You have microwaved off. If you air fry me comes out just right, then there's the need for vengeance. Yeah, he's like good doff. Although good, no, he's like naughty Dolph, because like you know, he's like a little bit naughty, but not too much. Because I don't want, I don't want a good Dolph. I want want to have my Dolph a little bit naughty, you know. <laughs> he's a bit of a naughty boy. Bricklets, there were also several brands making them. You know an awful lot about Dickmans. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do the racist naming for them. It's like twenty years since they scrapped that here. I'm so glad, because that's wrong. Um. <laughs> Uh, I'd argue you're doing nothing wrong, mate. You're doing everything right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The storage. I'm just pointing fingers at random for no reason. That's the way you roll. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Personally, I voted for great success. Thank you, Aurelia. It's nice to have a vote of confidence. The Yellow Witch. Sadly, I have to jump on my broom and fly out of here. I haven't found a spell to make the cat coat dinner yet. Oh, gosh, you need to find that. There is, there is one. I know it, but it's a tricky one. You need all sorts of weird ingredients. So, you know, probably easier to just make dinner yourself this time. But have a great dinner and thank you so much for, for, for flying in. Have you considered learning to love raw and slightly pre-loved mouse? That's <laughs> pre-loved. That's a new word for it. Pre-loved. Oh, gosh. Yeah, take care. Um, given the biggest grifter of them all has bought the bird, they just get to keep doing it. They do, don't they? The biggest grifter of them all, which is Elon Musk. I wish he'd fuck off to Mars. I really do. I wish he'd just, like, just, when is he going? He's been threatening it for a while. And I'm like, come on, just, just, just go now. Which is what I'm going to have to do, actually, because I'm really tired and I'm actually sort of struggling to keep my eyes open, honestly. <laughs> bye bye, Yellow Witch. Fantastic emojis, thank you. And you, you're after the cauldrons. Nice one. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up because I am I am really feeling it now. I just want to close my eyes and go to bed. So I'm gonna do that. But first, we're gonna see who we want to raid. Oh, I already said before you go, before you go, something. I'm gonna have a look to see if who's on, who we might want to raid. There's a there's oh yeah, there's a couple of good possibilities here actually there's a couple of good ones i don't know who we're gonna do it but there's definitely some good ones uh already has got a link yeah no those are brilliant aren't they those are brilliant those are really good pieces in that transparent clear transparent um and and that's gonna look fantastic for your kingfisher already i really like those pieces bricklet suggests we raid france 
So, the whole country? Like the whole the whole country? Or what? Like, because I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure I'm up for it. As I said, I'm tired. Uh, I might just. I'll leave you to it, honestly, if you're going to raid France. But I was thinking a streamer, actually. Maybe that would be more fun. <laughs> yeah, no, you're very welcome, for God. Thank you for the support. I'm glad. Uh, it's nice to see you again. I hope you have a fantastic... Well, it's not much rest. There's not much left of the week now. But, you know, get Friday over with and have a fantastic weekend. And I will uh, I will try and catch one of your streams now, one of, the, one of these days. Because I do enjoy... I do enjoy your streams. I do like a good tune. I like a good banging tune, me. Um, shall we raid? I can't see. I literally can't see. My eyes are gone. Uh, I don't know if it's the fumes, but we got Pickleby. I'm thinking Pickleby. We haven't raided Pickleby for a little while. She's doing a... Ooh, it's uh, oh, LGBT plus history month. United in anger. The history of ACT UP. That sort of sounds interesting and Maybe not fun, but interesting for sure. That's definitely a possibility. Yeah, no, actually we will do this because I would like to ask her how her she's had her face and I'd like to ask her how it's gone. I don't think she's showing her face because she's probably quite swollen and stuff, but I just want to see how she's feeling and how she's got on. So so we are going to very Pickleby. Give her some love. Like she did that on the slide. I didn't know she was going to do it. And then she's like, oh, I'm recovering from FFS right now. I'm like, what? Pretty cool though. It's often the holy grail for trans women. FFS. Ask me how I know. I'm gonna just set up this raid. Raid. Oops, that's not how you spell raid. That's really not how you spell it. Mm, paste. Boom. We are gonna raid Pickle B. Um, she's talking about LGBT plus History Month. Uh, she does like her politics and she likes uh, current events and she's uh, she's a fantastic Twitch streamer honestly she's got all sorts of toys and bells and whistles I really like her streams they're always entertaining let me just catch up on chat uh, all the Lego shops are in France There's, no not all of them but some are we could get those that might be worth a raid storage things we can take France down if we catch them unawares while they're napping maybe uh, already I would like to go to Brittany for a little Viking a little Viking? Who, who's? Do you know a little Viking in Brittany? I'm gonna have a nap. Then we'll do it. Yeah, I'll, I'll nap. It, it'll work out better then. You're welcome, for God. Thank you, thank you. It's been a good stream as ever. Have a good evening, all. I'll stick on for the raid. Cool. I'm gonna stick around for the raid for a little bit. Then I'm gonna head off. Um, Aurelia's gonna finish a Lego. I hate that we only have the cis comfortable surgeries approved here. It's rubbish, isn't it? Anyway, thank you all so much for uh, for the stream. I've had a really good time. Um, hey, maybe we'll make Lego on Sunday, but I'm going to be streaming on Sunday around about one o'clock CET, so I hope to see you all there. It's it's often a really good time on Sundays. It's like a chill stream. It's like it's even more chill. It's even more chill than this. Can you believe it? I know, that's that's the way you can use Viking, apparently. I didn't know you could say that. Let's Viking. We're going to Viking Pickleby. See you all soon. Bye-bye. Take care. Mwah, 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 mwah.